Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quests and Chaos. We're the Chaos Agents, and tonight we're going to be discussing at length how to say GIF. 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 Uh, it GIF. is a giraffe it's interchange GIF. format. It is a giraffe. Uh, we it are, is a giraffe. We are actually split 50-50 at this table at the moment. It is a giraffe. You are correct. Because we have GIF and GIF. Yeah, it's a good thing Warren's not here. So yeah. we are also going to be playing thing. some Dungeons & Dragons. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> um, Wait, what? Right? <laughs> yeah, I lied to you. It's not movie night tonight. I thought it was movies and pizza. <laughs> no, we canceled that again. <laughs> okay, everyone. So Yeah, no, same. <laughs> um, we've got a big show. Big show. Great big show for everyone tonight. I'm all... Wow, that was... I was like, that's, I, that's a reference, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, remember when the Beatles were on TV for the first time? Okay. Yeah. Ed Sullivan, that was Ed Sullivan. Ah. <laughs> I, I love Red Skeleton. <laughs> what? I know who the Beatles are. I am, I, mean, I am a lich, and I am 140. So <laughs> I did actually just watch the documentary, so yes. <laughs> the, the super big long one? Uh, the eight days a week. Day. Oh. Yeah, the touring years oh, okay. on Netflix now. Mm. Go check it out. All right, totally different. Oh. Anyway. Sponsor us. So, <laughs> Quest and Chaos. Find us on Netflix. <laughs> you, can, you can either scroll through Netflix for 40 minutes or That's, you can just watch us. It's the most popular show. Yeah, it is. <laughs> if you can't find us on Netflix, just go to YouTube. <laughs> it's like uh, the most used uh, app on my PlayStation is System Update. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So, uh, first I want to start off by thanking our sponsor, Gordon Bear. They are providing us with the liquid courage to continue to do this every day. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> four days a week. It's our new documentary. You definitely imbibed a lot last night, four days a week. Four days a week. <laughs> we're just as great as them. <laughs> Apparently, Aaron and I were doing like the circle thing, trying to get you beer, oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was, a, it was I, hilarious. I didn't see where he went. I am really surprised that nobody uh, nobody was bit on the neck with, a, with Dracula in the house. <laughs> it's a common misconception. <laughs> Real killer. <laughs> now I hope we understand each other. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm still hearing Dracula. I feel like that isn't correct, but also that's what I'm hearing. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> or you're mispronouncing things. What a oh, great episode last night. I what do have to so say fun. yes. What a great episode. And two, if we can, um, this, let's John Oliver this and get. A, there won't be a hashtag here. But if we can, oh. hashtag the Daniel Day Lewis of D&D. <laughs> really Day Lewis long D &D. hashtag. I will That's tweet good. That. <laughs> I, uh, don't you guys go to GoDaddy, because I want to register the, the Daniel Day Lewis of D&D. <gasps> and just have pictures of Aaron because all over the place? that's worth the $12 it is to register that. You just gave them a three-hour head start. I we better D&D fast. That already has it. <laughs> like, what are you talking about three hours? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Hef has Ted the accountant. That's true. <laughs> and Ted Tedderson and Never associates. Never seen him in the same place, have you? <laughs> no, I've not ever seen Ted the accountant and the Hefner in the same place. Fact. That's true. Fact. That's true. I have. In Las oh, Vegas. Oh, you've seen Las Vegas. You've yeah. seen oh, I've, I've seen the Hef. And, the, and, the, and, the, and then you were I also mean, there. I mean, Ted might have been there. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Oh my god. So the other thing that's going on is Nord Games, they continue to have their Kickstarter 48 hours left. Uh, so this is the, the, not for these, but for the book about uh, enchanting enchanting and crafting and alchemy. <gasps> alchemy, enchanting and crafting? Alchemy, crafting and enchanting? One of those things. All of those. All of those. Enchantment? Enchant <laughs> what? That's a good one. Yeah. It's the last time I get to I make that joke. <laughs> Why? Because the Kickstarter is over in like two oh, days. Oh, right. But you can always make. I, I, I mean, I, I, you can I, I, always I, make I, Dragon I, Age references. Mm -hmm. Yes, because my name's Andras Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. Oh man, we are not ever playing Dungeons and Dragons. So uh, we're we have missing a Warren. We, we are missing Warren. Yeah. Well, I, I replaced him with beer. I wouldn't say we're missing. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh shots fired! Oh, oh, oh. oh, I am across the bow. Uh, that is not true. Warren is a wonderful human being. Yes. Um, and, and an amazing player, and just a great friend. So. And a troll. And, and a troll. <laughs> and I love to troll him back. I'm drinking more because he's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's uh, what it is. Yeah. Coping mechanism. Yeah. We'll talk about that. We'll have um, to thank you. that. Thank you. We'll have to bring in the intervention cats. <laughs> yes. Those I don't be, know what those are. Those will yes. be here Saturday. It's the cats from the musical Cats. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Intervention cats will be here Saturday. <laughs> That's cool. Um, there are cats in, yeah. In Cairo. Cthulhu. Leading us around. Oh, wow. Because nothing bad ever happens to that. That's exciting. <laughs> Toss to Megan about the Kickstarter. <laughs> Take Meg. it away. Meg. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> she played bird brained very well. It was great. <laughs> Did someone say bird brained? In the in the okay. in the chat at least. I didn't catch if anyone said it out here. We'll tell uh, her about it. We'll text her. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so so we're gonna use the, the luck deck. Uh, our special code is in if you do exclamation point Kickstarter. Uh, gets you our link, which actually uh, helps us out as well as Nord Games. So so everyone you guys should use it. Doing that, yes, oh indeed. Um, if you do want to go and buy things from Nord Games, because they have a bunch of awesome stuff, PDFs, card decks, they got they got mm -hmm. tons of new card decks. In fact, um, so if you have won a luck deck from us, they have all new covers. Ooh. So I mean, if you're a collector, you have the, uh, you know, the the OG version. Mm -hmm. New ones, you might want to complete your collection. That's right. You know, you can yeah. find those here at the giveaways because we still got those OG right. versions, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Because uh, that was a win win situation where we bought a ton of these <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at a very discounted price mm -hmm. and they uh, moved their inventory. Nice. Symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. Just like. Venom. All right, there we go. Okay. Wow. What did you think? Is that was I yeah, on point? Exactly. Oh man, on mind point. melt. Perfect. We Pacific rimmed so hard just now. <laughs> Not as hard as Meg and yeah. I did last yeah. night, where we both great. said exactly yeah. the same thing at exactly the same time in exactly the same tone. That was great. That was that terrifying. Was great. That was also, I love that film. I'm sorry. Uh, right. Seen it. The no. first one. Yes. Uh, stay tuned for the break where you get to see some other people. Uh, Saying Hefland in, uh, in unison. All right. Do we have a special video? Yeah. Well, we do. Yeah. We, uh, a bunch of clips that have been uh, gathered from the community on Twitch. We put some together and also have a little bit of promo for a special show called "The Sinister Secrets of Saltmarsh," which is the first module in the Saltmarsh book, which we are going to be, which Tiana is going to be running, March 9th, 10th, and 11th. I get to run a, th a three day one shot with some of the crazy people around here. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna hate my character. Well, we're gonna be a gamma. Yeah, that's right. I, th I think you misspoke uh, and, and mispronounced love. <laughs> oh, I do that. So, a if lot. anybody out there is gonna be a gamma, hey, hey. say hi. Gamma, the Game Manufacturers Association trade show. Yeah, that's right. Or Bruce Banner. Yes. <laughs> it's oh. in Reno, it's gonna be a great time. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 We're going to see a bunch of people there, including Nord Games, Gale Force 9. Uh, I believe Jesse's going to be there. There's going to be a lot of cool uh, people. Yes. I, I look forward to hearing the stories. <laughs> Brandon will be there. What uh, happens in Reno gets everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Las Vegas. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> Quarantine uh, Reno. Quick. <laughs> so there is also another Kickstarter going on, uh, which is The Lost Worlds of Josh Kirby. I don't know if there's actually a link for it. Uh, but they are going on Kickstarter right now. They have nine days left, so yeah, you got some time. It's a fun little game. We did a preview for it. It's on our channel, so if you want to go check it out, you can do that as well on our YouTube. All right. Now, the recap. Well, let me drink out of my head. <laughs> ba -bum -ba -ba -na 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 -na. Um, so last time on Chaos Agents. We started the show just after a fog cloud from Uzo's dream conversation with not Dendar. Uh, and out of that fog uh, illusion, a dinghy ran up against the ship. Uh, and Adraste found out that there was a ghost on board. Quickly uh, went down and uh, confronted the ghost. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, no, it's. I am not going to punish great idea. Um, so, uh, what originally was supposed to be a ship haunting for several weeks was over pretty quick. Uh, but you guys had a battle down in the hull of the ship. Um, the ghost, realizing that it was outmatched, went into the floor and. Whew, Went back into its dinghy, floating along. But Uzo got a parting shot. Yes. Uh, Uzo no. didn't get a parting shot. <laughs> With his 240 foot range Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Um, so, 
uh, that happened. Then you guys had, uh, we did some flashbacks earlier of, of stuff happening. Mm-hmm. Um, some character building. The, you know. there, I mean, there was some character building. There was uh, some discussions about what was happening. We got a rematch planned. Rematch promised. Mm-hmm. Oh, After yeah. you guys got desperately high. That's, desperately. <laughs> that was, that's the perfect way the rematch comes up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some important uh, stuff was brought up to your attention while you were high. I don't remember a thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Uzo's still pissed about um, you leaving Ruckus. I know. Uh, honestly, my perspective, not much you could have done. Um, stopping a ship traveling full speed is not easy or quick. And turning it around would have been Turning disastrous. it around into the fire of stuff. But I do, and I think Uzo will get it at some point, I'm yes. sure. He may come around. However... Um, he and Andraste had a conversation. You want to kind of recap what what happened in that conversation? So he 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 came to my quarters to explain his perspective on things and explain that why, them that he is seeing things the way that he sees them because of his of, of his way of looking at things. And we had a long conversation on the subject of understanding that though your feelings are valid, they're not always correct. So we had a conversation on that subject. And in in the course of the conversation, um, I found out that he had deliberately sought out Dendar because he also wanted to end the world, which was an interesting thing to find out. And we had a conversation on that subject. And I just feel like we should have seen the warning signs. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed fine to me. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but also I didn't realize how far it had gone and how deep his hatred oh. of the world was, which is, I mean, fair. The world has treated him sort of shitty, but... So we had a conversation on that subject, and maybe he's starting to see things a little bit differently. But he we'll throw, see. He throws uh, unconscious women out of windows. He opens an orphanage. We did, mm-hmm. but we don't know that one. No, we, we don't just, know that he threw an unconscious right. woman out of out of a window. Like as far as Andraste knows, all she sees is the, <laughs> the good. But his god may know, who's also possibly fake. <laughs> no, it's different. Still... We know it's Bahamut now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, no, we I do. do, and I believe at least he learned that Dendar is dead. dead. Well, at least that's what Bahamut yeah. said. And we also found out that Bagar's real name cannot be spoken. <laughs> yes, which I took particular note of. And Bagar is really pissed off that, that Uzo went to try and find the real Dundar. He, he, he went along with it, but he bit him in the process and was just like, nope, I am not yeah. happy with this. Stay back into contact, hi. That is, yeah. As you do. <laughs> Smart snake. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chill snake. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I believe, is that where we ended last time? Yeah, we ended up shortly after that the conversation that you guys were having, and we were all like, "Okay, we can we can make it to Salt Marsh in five days if we are able to double shifts, double yes. shifts, basically yes. double shifts." We had given orders for them to uh, seek out which crewmen were apt sailors mm-hmm. and put them. Oh, which of the people that we'd rescued? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, so that's where we're going to pick up after we do a little bit of bitten. Hey, Ooh. bits bitten. No, I've been bitten. I like bitten. No, that works. Once bitten, twice shy. <laughs> See, you made it work. No, just go with it. <laughs> Commit. <laughs> Song from the '80s, also a movie. With Jim Carrey. Hey, Jim Carrey. Oh, I miss them both. That's yeah. right. I prefer Love at First Bite, not Jim Carrey. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I have a love hate relationship with Jim Carrey. You don't love Dr. Eggman? <laughs> Here you go. There's one. Uh, I'm just assuming that you guys had four left over. Someone at work gave me a positive review of Sonic. Do they have kids? Because that's yeah. the only way it's like, I mean, like, yes, then there you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get Amy to see it. I, it's, and it's for, it's I'm going to see it. It's a good kids movie. Yeah. I saw I, it. I plan to see it at some point. Yeah. She said Jim Carrey's work was most excellent. He sells it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's good. I really hate Jim Carrey. Really? Yeah. Well, then you probably won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back and forth with Jim I like Jim small Carrey. blue hedgehogs, so, you know. Do you like Ben Schwartz? <laughs> Benny Schwa? Ben Schwartz? Um, what's his name from Parks and Rec? Come on, dude. Anyone Parks and Rec? I love Parks and Rec. Someone in the chat. Okay. Benny Schwa. <laughs> That's his nickname on a podcast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have 1,000 bits from the Hefner for the players. Thank you, Hef. Got oh, it. Right in, the, right in the box, and then almost snuck another one into a drink. You tried. Huh. <laughs> and then also from the Hefner, 500 bits right to me. 
Uh, okay. Twice you've broken my heart in as many seconds. <laughs> and we, <laughs> we have Damn. 1,500 bits from Rav Starburner. Hi, G. Thank you. You are with Bo. There it is. Sienna. I, Aaron, that was why? a bad throw. All three of both of those were bad throws. Uh, we were so uh, in sync at the beginning. And <laughs> a happy birthday to Spiff to one. Oh, hey. 500 bits to the players. We'll go happy first. birthday. Happy yes. birthday. I love the picture of you in your Octopier shirt. Thank you to Rachel for sending that to us. Boom. Real names. All right. Now. <laughs> Her name is Rach on, on, on Twitter, so. It oh. could be code. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I have lots of projectiles over here. <laughs> Some of them are even metal. My real name is Gwenifer. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I being looked at? <laughs> because he sounds like throws. Must I get this reference? Oh, okay. no, there's no reference. Just Gwenifer? Yeah. Well, that's weird. For Rach? You're not making a reference? That's the point, yeah. I don't know. it's Rach. I don't understand Clearly that. her name is Gwenifer. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we onward? <laughs> Shall we onward? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to play Shoots and Ladders tonight. Thank God. <laughs> Flip over. <laughs> we're failing at this. <laughs> All right. We she's... always fail at this. We just fail upward. <laughs> I can't imagine how much a Shoots and Ladders stream would help or hurt us. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how much grease we put on the ladders on the way. So you slide on the way down. Hurt us. Shoots and shoots. <laughs> <laughs> just the shoots, actually. <laughs> Just the one shoot. That's right. <laughs> shoots and <leaves>. Shoot and a stepladder. <laughs> we can just turn this off right now and just shoot the shit. Let us know when you want to <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys uh, charted a course, a uh, pretty direct route, through um, charted and uncharted territories heading towards Salt Marsh. Um, you are well on your way. And the day before you ends without incident. So we get a rest. So, so you get a what? Uh, a get west? Rest. <laughs> All of it. Why are there two Kilronis Drow Killer tabs open? <laughs> because one was for the animal form and one was for <laughs> the Kilronis form. I love approximately but all of those. Even though I never really had to use them both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it was preemptive. Wow. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that, I w that, that if we were able to find people to like get a sailing through the night, um, I would have gone to bed at about 8 and be up at midnight to be... Gotcha. Okay. Being being the officer awake. All right. So, um, you get a uh, half experienced, half inexperienced crew mm -hmm. for basically both ships okay. uh, from now on. Um, your crew of ten is being split into five, and then. All right. More do I have Jensen you. or Clint or Bunny? <laughs> <laughs> um. Who would you like to have? You can. I if, if if I'm the only officer, I want Clint. All right. So uh, so you and Clint will be heading up the nighttime shifts, and Remy and um, probably not Bunny. He's not a experienced sailor. That's fair. Um, who? I mean, really? I mean. I mean, all of us will be awake. Yeah, uh, I just go to bed early. Yeah, and Jensen's probably going to be some of some some of the actual crew is going to be sleeping. Hmm. So uh, Jensen is uh, is does work the cannons, uh, but he can help um, you as well during the day. Excellent. So uh, we will do uh, a roll just to see how well you are navigating. So we will start. Uh, Okay, I just before that, yeah. I just want to say that during this travel time, I want everyone to learn how to work the cannons, right? So, <laughs> drills, if they can. Okay, right. are you going to be shooting them off? Um, I think everything's short of shooting them. Yeah, everything's short. Seven to save the, the gunpowder. Also, yes. we haven't ro rolled for the tavern. We were supposed to do that like two episodes ago, and we haven't rolled for the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me open up another tab here and uh, go to the Dungeon Master's Guide, page 181. Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> like, so where do you think you are? Level 8. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully 9 soon. You're here. Hopefully. Uh, this Hot is, wink. D&D uh, Beyond doesn't actually have page numbers, so... I'm at, uh, that makes sense. And uh, this would be under, under downtime activities. I have a retort. As we train people for those cannons, by the way. 
do mm -hmm. jam activities. Nothing, I'm just helping them. I'm like, I'm stepping into my role a little more. Getting to know people a little bit better. And if you perceive it, good. If you don't, I'm doing it anyway. I mean, you have better charisma than I do. But that's not saying anything because everyone on the ship has better charisma than I do. Really? Even me? No, I'll, I'll definitely yeah. supervise. I'll definitely supervise and watch him and, and go and see how it's how it's going. Do some training with him as well. And um, definitely able to see how he's stepping up. Uh, as as a... I'll tri okay, well, I'm going to... After we decide what men we want... Actually, wait, it's everybody mm -hmm. learning the cannons. Okay, well, after we decide what people are going to be training with the cannons and everybody... I think I'm just gonna actually introduce myself appropriately and be, as you know me, back from the dead, I am your bosun, Ruckus Highborn. You will listen to me, and you will, I will teach you everything you need to know about how to kill anyone on an opposing ship using these little things. Slap, slap, <laughs> on a cannon. <laughs> uh, um, Ruckus, uh, bosun Highborn? I stare at him a little bit before I say, yes, you may speak. Yes. <laughs> uh, the bosun repairs ships. All right. All Bos right. Bosuns are jacks of many trades, and I also fix a ship as well as destroy other people's ships. That's right. I give and I take boat life. I am your bosun. <laughs> Remember? If you're going to put one back together, you have to know how to take it apart. So, uh... Cleric has said many times. Right. I'm so glad that you remembered that reference because I almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, so the, and the, and you lead some drills. Uh, we'll we'll do a roll for that uh, in a bit to see how well you teach them. Who wants to roll for the tavern? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mind meld! What's it called? Anyway. <laughs> Rochambeau or rock, paper, scissors? No, I'm in Pacific Rim. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. One, the two, drift. three. One, two, drifting. Shit. <laughs> That's where it went. I lost it. 100. Oh, some that pretend to betray me in Call of Cthulhu. I'm kind of happy. I don't use those ever. <laughs> uh, 82. 80. Very nice. Plus 10. So. 91 or higher. 92, yes. All right, now give me 3d10, please. How about we each roll one? Okay, why don't, why don't we each roll one? That sounds good to me. That does make sense. D10, dear. I'll use my, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Broken d4. Yes, that's the only reason <laughs> I wanted to. 10. <laughs> What'd you get, Cappy? Three. <laughs> Yay! Oh, wait, no, that's not good for me. One. So 14. Can I add a d6? <laughs> <laughs> If you, uh, I get a yes. ten. Yes, you can. Yeah. Really? Sure. Sure. Add a d6. Do it. Use up inspiration. Fit. <laughs> Do it. For so we have currently have unimportant. We currently have fourteen role playing roles. It I gives, love role playing roles. It gives roles. us money. Aha! Another three. So six total. Six, seven, seventeen, times five. Oh God. There's a cal there's got to be a calculator on this non-denominational <laughs> tablet. <laughs> What'd you say? 35 and 10? Uh, two, 215, 210? That's the calendar. 215. 215. 215. 215. 215. 215. I'm not doing the math. I'm just saying 215. 215. That's, that's off the top of my head. That's my guess. It's totally, that's Did you say 35? <laughs> Thank you, Biersch. 17. 17 times what? Times five. Our teachers thought we wouldn't have calculated this every way off. <laughs> 85, yes. 115. <laughs> I've changed my answer. <laughs> I knew there was a 35 in there somewhere. <laughs> I was multiplying 115 times something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's, let's. 85. <laughs> 85. <laughs> Woo! Let's not discuss or reference this ever again. <laughs> Clip it. Clip it good. <laughs> Bum, Don't you know bum, how the bum. internet works? <laughs> <laughs> I know how the app works. <laughs> you fool, you foolish fool. Bum, bum, you've been immortalized. So you make 85 gold pieces. Nice. Oh, that's it. Plus, covers your expenses. You know, this is not doing well for us. 85 every 10 day. Uh, it's profit. You know what's nice, though? Man. We are chasing down the cult of Mammon. That's true. They're the ones who, do, who, who, who have a lot of money. 
That is true. We gotta get another ghost in that bar. It's the only <laughs> way more business. Are you are you suggesting piracy? No, I'm suggesting burning a cult to the ground and then and then liberating their money. That. <laughs> yes, you are suggesting piracy. Oh, heroic piracy. Heroic they stole piracy. it first. Yes. Those bastards. Yes, and we give it back to no one but ourselves and our crew. Robin Hood. Yes. We put it back into circulation because we will go and spend it. Through our pockets, yes. Well done. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, this is great. Even Uzo agrees. <laughs> Uzo's still upset. Not around. Ah, fair enough. Well, Oh, yeah. Even I, Uzo would agree. <laughs> Why do you keep referencing him? You know he's still upset at us. He's moping in his room. No, well, maybe he's thinking about a few things. Hold on, I don't need all these dice. I have scary. no idea. I literally, I literally don't need all of these D20s that are. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking Each about. Each one a cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you wanted us to do rolls for navigation? Yes. So we will start uh, the first day. Bo, give me, uh, you'll use your captaining mm. charisma. Charisma. Okay. <laughs> That's a good okay. <laughs> it's uh, 12. 12, okay. Total. All right. Do we want to add a d6 to that? I'm down. Seconded? Third. Let's do it. Okay. So it's 12 plus. <laughs> the 13. one. 13. Well, right. we tried. That gotta, was the DC, right? <laughs> you gotta love fate. All right. So uh, during the day, uh, you um, you sail for a while. Andraste goes to bed early hmm. to prepare. At around 8 o'clock or so. So I'm up at midnight. Uh, you, uh, sun sets. You wake up, um, and you kind of come out. Um, you don't need a lantern or anything, right? Yeah. I can see. Uh, there are a few lanterns out on the boat, mm -hmm. as you are now traveling at night, and people need to see on the on the actual ship to mm -hmm. do their jobs. Uh, there were a lot of humans um, that you picked up along the way out of that prison. So uh, you get to uh, kind of up to take uh, Jensen's and Remy's spots. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a conversation or just you're, you're looking pretty tired yes yes it is time for bed for us I uh I think so I, I think I'll, I'll leave the ship in your your care by the way we're definitely on course everything is great <laughs> I, I certainly hope so I, I worked really hard to put us on a good course indeed thank you um, I'm, I'm gonna like glance at Jensen and, and, and ask him to go away for a second, politely. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Everything all right? So what do you mean? You've been very quiet lately. I don't know. I uh, it's just uh, a lot to take in with um. Ruckus dying and the role that I had to play in that. Now Uzo is Uzo, as you know. And there's so much happening, gods. I just wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> Again. Yeah. No, it's a lot. There's so much going on, and I'm feeling very small in the midst of all of this. You, who converses with Lyra, speaks to her, sees her. <laughs> yes. And I still feel very small in all of this. Well, you must understand how I feel. It's <laughs> really being very small. Yeah. But, uh... I don't, I, making those hard decisions, it's, uh... Not what I imagined. I, I didn't want to have to make that call with Ruckus. I don't always... I did what I had to do. You made the right call. Yes. So. But it also, it also does no good to bury it under I'm fine. Yeah. I suppose people keep reminding me. Yes, well, should I find somebody who needs that advice, I'll be sure to pass it along. 
You do that, Remy. You can call me, uh... No, I prefer if you call me Remy, actually. <laughs> it's the I, truth. I, I was going to say, I'll call, I'll call you Captain Remington in, a, in official capacities, but I'm talking to you as my friend. I rather like that. And I really hope that, uh... Admiral Coulton, good old Peter, Well, let's just say there will be a fight. I know him. I, uh... I'm gonna be responsible for more people's deaths. Very likely on this crew. But I'm the captain, so I must be fine. You see. Well... If you need a place to not be the captain and just be Remy, whose heart hurts, you know where to find me. Thank you. We'll see. No, no promises, but thank you for checking in. Of course. I'm going to fight who? Uh, wait, no, the other one. Ruckus. I'm going to fight Ruckus again at some point. <sighs> Thought you should know. I appreciate the forewarning. Uh, to be fair, he asked for it uh, as penance for making the decision to leave him behind. I think he's just looking for an excuse to fight. I wasn't going to leave him behind, you know, right? I know that. I was just going to keep the ship moving, and I went back for him. I know. I saw you. I understand. Um, anyhow, lots to write about today in the <laughs> journal. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, I expect a report in the morning. I'll be here. Make sure you get some sleep. Yeah, I'll do my best. And, um, there's a bit of irony in the fact that my penance for his death is that we fight. Uh, it's actually painfully ironic. It's very ruckus. Isn't it? It is. Good old Malcolm. <laughs> Don't ever say that in his hearing. No, I won't. <laughs> I won't. I have excellent perception. No, you don't. That's why you count on me to watch your back. So, and by owl, as I look over, <laughs> eyes full up. Yeah. Well, especially at this time of night. Yes, indeed. All right. Have, have a good shift. All right. Rest well, and if you need help with, with sleeping, I have herbs. Oh, don't worry. I have plenty of my own. I wasn't referencing that particular herb. I know. <laughs> Walking off. <laughs> <laughs> He tries so hard to pretend that everything's all right. So you do, 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 go down the steps, uh, yeah. Jensen, down there, basically at your door. Uh, ready, re uh, oh, it's okay to go back up? Go back up. I I'm helping to uh, uh, navigate at night. Oh, at night? Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I, for some reason I thought I had Jensen and she had Clint. Oh, I'm gonna go to bed then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, I have. I have Clint. I'm, I'm one of the most experienced. Right. <laughs> ah, not officer person. No, Jensen, you get to bed. I must tell you, I admire your zeal, but if you're not well rested, Jensen, you're no good to anybody, and we're gonna need everyone tip-top shape. So, to bed with you, or to bed with me. All right. He goes, Clint. Uh, mm -hmm. Eventually makes his way up to you. Um, all right, on Justy, we uh, we're doing this, eh? We're doing this. Uh, very well. I'm 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 gonna check the course to make sure that we didn't get too far off. All right, give me a. No. I love you. Everything's perfect. <laughs> uh, for me, it's perception, right? Perception uh, or survival. You're the same for me. Okay. Um. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, yeah. You're generally headed in the right direction. All right. 
Um, I'm going to adjust minutely just to make, okay. sure, make sure we're, we're going as expeditiously as possible. All right. Okay. So um, you travel throughout the night. Mm -hmm. um, the waves... Uh, you are making good time. You are full sail. Mm -hmm. um, you have... Uh, you do see somebody up front um, that is an elf. I was going to say that someone with dark vision, because I, I was going to go yeah. up and look as well if it wasn't someone as with well, dark vision. who is uh, keeping an eye out on where you're headed. Uh, oh. For the most part, you are open ocean. Okay. And uh, what, what is this person's name? <laughs> uh, I do not know, and it does not matter. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I'm glad you finally got to that point. Right, right. <laughs> Gordon Biersch. It's Gordon Biersch. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote his name down. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a German guy. A German elf. Sure, why German not? Elf. No, no, no. Also, we have Alex the Hero. <laughs> That I wrote down. Cool. In the crew. Is that a goblin? Uh, no. Uh, he jumped in, yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. He jumped yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Alex the hero died. And I remember um, right here I have starred and underlined in three exclamation points, make ruckus apologize to Alex. And I can't remember <laughs> <What>? why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a reason. So, I don't remember this. So we have Alex the hero, and I'm upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I have no idea. Okay. Um, I'm sure that you ran into him and commented something. Did I throw a panther at him? Like, <laughs> Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. That's likely. Yes. Right. Or, or, the, or the tiger, maybe. Maybe you had him backed up with the tiger. There's That's any number of animals I could have thrown at this person. <laughs> uh, so, so I'm going to periodically leave, leave Clint at the wheel and come up and check with the person who's, okay. who, who's, in, who's in the front, also look, and then, and then go back, okay. just so I'm not stuck in one place yeah. for and, and that helps like going hours. up there because it is, it is open ocean. Mm -hmm. right? So you are... Just navigating with the stars, you pretty much, you know, you're heading the right direction. Um, the night passes without incident. Okay. Um, in fact, the next few days, uh, two, the next two days, in fact, um, go without incident. Hmm. Oh, um, Ruckus says it's quiet. Uh, Ooh, quiet. Too quiet. Oh, damn you. Uh, Ruckus, <laughs> uh, give me a... Uh, what is the well? So the bosun skill is strength, right? Mm -hmm. So um, well, give me an intelligence check. Okay, it's good for Ruckus. Surprisingly. Oh yeah, full of secrets. Uh, fourteen total. Okay. We've been rolling about the same numbers. Yeah. So, uh, so so fourteen. So your um, your instructions on firing the cannon and loading and stuff um, is greatly helped by Jensen. Showing you how it's done. Okay, I'm confident <laughs> to a point. I'm like, yeah, Jensen. Um, quick. <laughs> so I mean, so you, so you show everybody what, how it's done, what to do. You know, you you load in the charge, you put the ball in. You know, you you pack the charge, you put the ball in. Um, Jensen goes and gives a little bit of basically inside secrets that mm. he knows to speed up that process. Mm. A bit. Oh, nice. So you know, you give the this is how it's done, and then Jensen comes in and like and. You know the half blood prince notes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it's done faster yeah. and more efficiently. And, and it said, and you know, and he makes sure to point out, point out that if anybody comes through that cannon port, you shoot. <laughs> Do I hear him and, say that? Yeah, oh yeah. And he looks at you as he says it, because anyone coming through there should be an enemy. <laughs> and then I put a, sh a hand on his shoulder, unless. You see this exact jewel in this exact face, <laughs> team. <laughs> I'm just gonna look around the room until I send the message. Yeah, I just imagine that you're sideways on the wall while you're. Sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it, 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 the ceiling. Yeah, it zooms, it pans out, and I'm like totally <laughs> 90 degrees. That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so so with that roll, with his help, you you manage to get a number of more people trained up on. Cannon. Excellent. I walk onto the floor. Um, and, and, and at some point in the, in the next few days, just so I have the housekeeping cleaned up, I give you one of the, one of the potions of continuous heal. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right I shall on. add it immediately. So yes, now each of us 
has won, except someone who should have used it. I'm sorry, I like to save it until I absolutely need it, except for that one time with the shocks. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there was a guy out there who used who used it once in a fight. He used Uzos. Wow. That's cool. That's hilarious. Uzo. All right, so... Um, you you get a pretty good routine, so the day, the night, the day, the night. Um, mm -hmm. It actually starts to get kind of monotonous. Um, it, the you you see some of the people they're throwing fishing lines out the back, um, just you know trying to pass the time, also help out a little bit. You know the food stocks are mm -hmm. um, are being stretched. Oh, I also wanted wanted to start helping stretch and stretch the food by casting create food and water before I go to bed at night. Okay. At about eight o'clock, and then it'll last through until twenty four hours after that. Gotcha. So you do that. So that'll help stretch it so, out. Yeah. So that's definitely. So you have, um, and I believe it, it it specifies that it's bland. Yes. So 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 putting it in now is for the best right. because then you can mix it into things like porridge and mashed potatoes and whatever and stretch it further. Do we need to do like a, a lime tech te te <laughs> test check? I think we do. You know? yeah. <laughs> oh, no more lime, so everybody is. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with it, but only for the joke. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, 45 pounds of food. It's wow. bland but nourishing yeah. and spoils if it goes and eaten after 24 hours. So that's but so none that of us is... have teeth. <laughs> So that's interspersed with the uh, the food that was on board. So it's mm -hmm. yeah. I would Nobody give an order. We eat that first, and the onboard food after that. Not simultaneously. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the the okay. stuff that we can eat that's going to go bad within a day, we should eat that isn't part of our stores. Okay. So save those as much as possible. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's it's forty five pounds. Probably not enough to. It is. It is enough for. It is enough for fifteen humanoids. Okay, so yeah, so you do need to yeah. to kind of mix it with the original yeah. food. Absolutely, but it, but it'll, I mean, but per day, but you will eat this out. first, and right. then we'll go. <laughs> so eat your vegetables first. Okay, <laughs> so so you you see you see a definitive um, uh, chart of morale go down until you get to the real food. Mm -hmm. and then it kind of comes back up. Well, it's, it's a continually going down, doing that path. When, Uzo's not here. When did we get this chart? <laughs> <laughs> um, Uzo, I mean, he's he's all he's all about like <laughs> making friends with people now. Oh, dude, you are very efficient, but we are doing very poor on morale here. Indeed. We could probably do a roll for him. Charisma roll. For Warren? Or Uzo? Sure. For Uzo. For Warren. Sure. Natural one. Are no, you was, serious? No, it wasn't eighteen. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, so uh, so It'd be like War a twenty-three yeah. with his. Yeah. So 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 Warren kind of counteracts that, and mm -hmm. it, he rearranges his charts, <laughs> his PowerPoint presentation that he gives you every night. That's good. <laughs> he I, invented um, PowerPoint. <laughs> good to know. So uh, on the third evening, after you have traded places, the mm -hmm. sun has gone down. Um, you're traveling about uh, two, three in the morning. You hear a call from up front. Land! Like, pier. What does it, does it, does it, does it look like so, salt marsh? Uh, so, like so salt you, marsh. Uh, so are you going to look from here or up front? I guess it really doesn't, well, because your dark vision is only 60 feet. That's true. Um, Clint, take the wheel. And I'm, I'm going to go up front and have a, and, and look. So, um... So it is a canopy, you know, you have this canopy of stars. And at the edges now is where this person is basically seeing uh, obstructions mm -hmm. to, to the stars on that infinity edge. And um, notices that, they're, that it's not land so much as rocks or islands or... Ralph Macchio. It was Ralph, Ralph Macchio from Parks and Rec. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain's been working on that this whole time. I love it. It's like like an app running in the background. It wasn't the foreground in my brain. <laughs> Until suddenly I had a push notification. We're paying attention. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, yeah. do, they, do, do these look like formations that I have seen on, on the map? 
Um, like if I were to look at the map and then look at them, does it so look okay. So so you you pull out the map mm-hmm. where you are uh, and you kind of look through. Um, you uh, and knowing about how far we've traveled, I can l- guess you, where about you we do are. see uh, you see a line. Uh, so it's not land. Mm-hmm. You see a line of basically rocks that are drawn. Nothing is named, um, mm-hmm. but it is a pretty significant line that goes several miles, um, and it is in sort of a diagonal line. Um, you, from where you now know you are, mm-hmm. which is pretty on course, but you know a little bit uh, east from where you think you are, you have to go through these to get to Salt Marsh. <sighs> All right. I mean, I'm gonna glance glance at the other elf and be like, mm-hmm. I've, 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 uh, "We're hmm. Let's see if we can't get our, our, ourselves through this." Okay. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna like be looking at the, at the map and seeing uh, what angle we need to come through in order to get through without. And is there anything marked as like a shoal? Um. So. Uh, or would it be better for us to go around it? Or would that take us too far out of our way? Um, uh, you hear Clint actually call out, Andraste, what, uh, what's happening? I'm going to come, come, come back to him with, with the map, point at, point at where we are and say, either we go around or we go through. I... And I'm, I'm holding a lantern so he can see it. Yeah. Um, and he, in my mind, he's a dwarf. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then he has dark vision. He is, but uh, (laughs) he's just short human with dark vision. Stocky. (laughs) He's in that middle territory. (laughs) I mean, I I mean, I mean, if he's the tall dwarf, (laughs) or the short man, (laughs) the short man. (laughs) You don't know. No one can tell. (laughs) Well, I mean, if if he's a dwarf, I would have had conversations with him in dwarvish periodically because that's Um, the language I speak for some reason. Maybe he's half dwarf. Really? Hmm. Yes. So he has dark vision, (laughs) Hmm. but doesn't speak dwarf. Mm. Aww. Interesting character. Poor thing. I'm, I'm Latino and I don't speak any Spanish, so <laughs> it, happens. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> uh, you feed. Uh, <laughs> Jensen's not here. <laughs> sort of Scottish. Scottish. Uh, I mean, it, it might be. It might be best to to wait until daytime. Do you think? Drop anchor here and wait. Or do we slow it down? We, we furl the sails and, uh, and just glide. go slow. Possibly, because, I mean, the map is good, and uh, Elrin and I both, both have, have reasonable vision in the dock, but there, I named your character for you. <laughs> what did you name it? Elrin. So it's going on the list. <laughs> to E-L-R-I-N, me, we've Elrin. Had this, we've had this dude on the ship the whole time. Um, Elvin dude, or uh, this is one of the people you we rescued. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Noted. <laughs> I mean, we, I, I mean, Elvin and I both have reasonable vision, but I'm not experienced with shoals and the like, or reefs. That would be tragic to run aground. Well, uh, the captain's got uh, excellent vision. <clears throat> Sorry, did I make that noise out loud? Mm. <laughs> Seems to see things. He does. He does that. All right, well then. I'm going to glance up and glance at the stars. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, so yeah. the sun won't be up until 6 or 7. I hate losing that much time. Three or four hours is... We can go slow. I would. I would prefer to go slow. So... Yes. I'll be in the front and watch very closely and call out direction to you if we need to shift course. All right. Uh, perhaps I should re- wake the crew, the, the regular crew. If you would. All right. The irregular crew. You should start with the captain. Yeah. I'll, 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 go so, with, I'll, I mean, I'll go with the captain. Well, all right. As, he, as you walk away, he grabs the wheel. I, I would have lashed <laughs> it into place. <laughs> that was, have we done the stairs? 
fine. <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> down, down, come around and uh, tap on, on Remy's door. Not not super loud, but loud enough to hopefully be heard. Does it rouse me? Do I hear it? Yeah. Everything arouses Remy. <laughs> <laughs> God it's aroused, <laughs> not aroused. I'm aware. Why do we know where your brain is? I'm aware. Oh, come on. That was great. That's this show. That was it. No, that's natural one. It's... What? <laughs> It is natural. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the one. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> just, just the one. Um, so, yes. Captain Remington, need you for a moment, or ten. I get up pretty quick. Uh, make sure I'm I'm dressed decent. Um, Winthorpe comes on, and I open the door. What is it on just day? We're, running, we're, we're coming across a line of, of rocks, and I'm not confident in my ability to navigate them. Oh. Because Excellent. Because I'm, I'm not familiar with reefs, shoals, and the like. Right. Well, let's have a look, shall we? All right. So, go you, forward. You head up to the front, and you see, uh, so so you've, um, by this point, you see that the, the sails are, are being furled uh, to slow mm-hmm. down. You still have, you know, one sail up. And uh, you go to the front and you look out and you, you start to see now definite blockages of the stars on the horizon. Mm-hmm. And, 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 I, and I show him the map. And they're, yeah. Holding, and, holding, holding the, the lantern so you can see where we are. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a bit of a closer look. <laughs> My little tiny Winthorpe. Okay. Uh, how go. far out? Uh, start with uh, 100 feet. And once he gets out that far. <laughs> See through his eyes and see what okay. he can see over there. Okay. And your witch sight goes 120. 120. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so uh, what's his vision? Does he have dark vision? He doesn't have dark. Uh, Does well, an owl have yeah. dark vision? Let's I mean, see. an owl hunts at night. It has yeah. owl vision. <laughs> Actually, yeah, they can really get rats from like a high <laughs> distance. I yeah. saw that Nat Geo documentary. Once. Dark vision, 120 feet. Okay. Nice. Um, so 120 feet out, uh, you still, I mean, it is, um, it's open ocean. Um, you, these, these land masses are probably a couple of miles away still. Okay. Well, it's uh, 100 feet plus 100, so it's 220 feet yeah. that I'm looking at and still. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of, <laughs> nope, uh, make sure Winthorpe's coming back. He says, uh, I can't, can't really see anything from this point. Um, We'll have to get a bit closer and then see where we can make, looking at the map, where we can make our way through. Clint, Clint suggested slowing down, which is why we're lowering some of the sails. Yes, yes. Some of the sails. Excellent decision. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Um, very well. If we're a couple of miles out yet, mm-hmm. uh, once we get a bit closer, well, actually, let's see here. Is there a place in here that looks Wider um, than the others. Yeah, I mean, you can see there's a number of of pockets, mm-hmm. right? So it's not just a straight line down. You see a number of places where you could uh, try and go through. Okay, so I look for the the closest one. Okay. And I say, well, I think that this would be the the best entry point. How far are we from that? Um, I'm, I'm gonna look at it and then look up and see if I can't gauge about about where that is. Give me a survival check. Uh, 24. 24, yeah. Uh, you're exactly two and a half miles away. All right, we're about two and a half miles from that spot. I'm going to, like, eyeball it and then and, and, yeah. and, and then call back to Clint which way to turn to get with, that way. So with, with that roll, um, you see that, you know, again, this map is very detailed. Mm-hmm. Um, and you actually get, you see, you can kind of count the little rocks on the map, and then you start to be like, okay, that's, there's five you know, little things over there. There's five right here, four, eight, you know, so you start to see uh, this map is very well done. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can gauge that. This is, say, a, this uh, is an incredible map. Please set our heading then. <clears throat> I. Right. Mischief managed. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the meantime, let's wake up the others and let them know the change. Yes. So, uh, All right, so I'm, I'm going to go back and, and, t- and take the helm from Clint and send him to wake okay. up the, the crew. So Clint goes and he rouses the crew. Uh, and Uzo comes up as well. Yeah, uh, I meant just the officers. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh just the officers. Yeah, just the officers. Uh, okay. 
which is just Uzo at this point. Well, and I'm I'm still asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Stomp, yeah, it's it's, it's 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 two o'clock in the morning. Hmm? Stomp, stomp, boom, boom. What the hell? <laughs> okay, don't throw your sword at it. 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 Hello? And I open the door. <laughs> and like, yeah. There's no one there. Ruckus. Oh. I'm, I'm I'm up top, mm-hmm. but I heard the door open. Oh shit! <laughs> and uh, I'll just like open the bag, armor on me, and I'm gonna run out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you uh, you run up. After uh, hearing Andrasti's voice, not here. Okay. I'm still at the the four. Okay. Yeah. Kind of looking out, watching. <laughs> I'm. Uh, 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 c- 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 uh, <laughs> Captain wanted you. Uh, Andrasti is up above. Uh, great, thank you. You and did you Uzo, did good job. Uzo, uh, he goes downstairs, and Uzo comes up uh, a few minutes later. So I gather uh, everyone it, it... together. Yes. And I say, all right, everyone. Um, so we're coming up on this area right here. We think that we can get through it. Andrasse, will you show them, please, on the map? And I, I, I unfurl it and like draw a finger through it, through where I think we can get through. This seems to be our best course. It looks like a pretty jagged path and a very narrow, you know, like path for entry. I'm assuming, as I mean, it was it, described. It, it's it's wider than the rest of them, but it's still threading the needle. Okay. It is imperative that we make it through this and not around. As you can see, it goes on for quite a while. Going around would add too much time, and if we drop anchor until daylight, we'll lose from four to four to six hours. Fortune does favor the bold. <sighs> but Is there um, any way to help ease this journey through this narrow path? Well, we'll take it slow, of course. Huh? Uh, as slow as we can. Hopefully conditions will be good for us to, to make our, our crossing. Hopefully. Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking of it. If there's anything that can increase our chances of survival. It's a good question. I'm open to ideas. You're not gonna like mine. But Probably not. What, what were you thinking? I don't know. Why don't you well, start, Ruckus? I'm wondering if possibly we can be, we could double our chances of survival with me standing on the front of the ship. Navigate. Do we have messaging rocks? But did we buy that? We didn't. We that would not. Really, we really not need those. We didn't buy those. Okay, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, and can you see in the dark? Because it's still pretty dark. I could use my flambouge, but it would be a signal to anybody around us. On, on Droste, how soon will we get there at our current uh, speed and heading? At two and a half miles away at our current speed, what would that be? <laughs> uh. It, Maybe Your current speed probably um, like 10, 15 minutes. No, pr- longer than that. Uh, about a half an hour to get there at a slow speed. Mm-hmm. You know, probably an hour to get through it. All right. Mm-hmm. So probably about a half hour to get there, and at our current speed, maybe an hour to get through. I'm fine with that. Um, it's going to save us a long while getting going around. Or waiting. Yes. Yes. Uh, I have the best vision mm-hmm. in the dark. I can see you perfectly. How quickly things change. Well, yeah. I can see you perfectly, light, and my <laughs> sword starts to glow. <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> Maybe you should lead. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, also, I, I have Winthorpe here who can scout ahead for us as well. Warn of any danger, it'll be good. So I, I will be at the fore of the All ship. Right. Yes. And I will relay instructions back. I'll shout them out. All right. Let's do this. Fourth. Yes. Good. Uzo? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> He's passive let's, aggressive. Let's tell the, we'll, we'll gather the yeah. crew now, and we'll let them know. All right. I'll, I'll be at the wheel. I'll call my flambush. <laughs> uh, Clint, at this point, has, he did wait for your get final approval. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm going to get him. So he goes and he wakes um, the usual crew that you start with, um, and everyone else is um, asked to stay on board and just kind of stay out of the way. Keep an eye, keep an eye out over the edges. So, um, all right. So you guys are making your way towards this um, area, and as you get um, closer, um, you definitely see 
There are a number of smaller rocks and reefs um, that um, that the map kind of lays out mm -hmm. for you to avoid. Um, and you also see some of the bigger um, rock formations. Um, definitely not inhabitable lands. Um, not a lot of flat spaces. So give me a uh, uh, survival check um, with advantage because you've got the whole crew up there okay. calling things out. And I've got the Winthorpe in front. I don't, why, why do I bother checking? I know what the number is. Winthorpe. Our turn. <laughs> the Owl of Gahul. Nat 20. All right. <laughs> Wow. That was perfect. That was a beautiful that roll. That was amazing. It was 19 to 20. Yeah. So that is 28 for survival. The uh, turn a successful hit <laughs> right. against you into a miss or a critical hit into a normal hit. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, with, 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 the, with the euro dice. Nice. Um, so, uh, so with that, I mean, you are, you are skirting a, a safe distance around mm -hmm. any possible danger um, in this. And as you... As you start coming up, these these rocks are pretty huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are, you know, twenty hundred feet high, uh, but they are very uh, spiky. Mm. Um, you have a space that's roughly a uh, hundred feet wide that you actually navigate through. Uh, but as you get up to that space, um, you start to hear some shouts and calls out and, uh, from the front. Uh, debris. Shit. Um, as the ship starts to <laughs> hitting stuff in the water. Take a look. Yeah, and then you look over and there um, what started as, you know, one, you know, you kind of, you hit like one piece of timber mm -hmm. and you look up and there's two, then three, and then in the very middle of this whole passage is just a a sea of wreckage. Oh, jeez. I guess we didn't count on this. Not at all. Oh. Oh, okay. So I, I will try and navigate them through by saying, you know, port, starboard, and whatnot, okay. making making the small adjustments mm -hmm. so, as we go so, pretty So, I slow. mean, so much like a uh, <clears throat> an icebreaker ship, you are moving through this stuff. Mm. It's floating. I mean, so mm -hmm. just floats away from the ship as you come through. Okay. Um, you do see it hitting and stuff. I don't, you know, nothing that's damaging really to the ship. Okay. Just making a lot of noise. So how many ships, can I estimate how many ships? One. One, One ship in here, um, and you do start to see um, bodies as well. Um, how? Bodies on debris and also just floating as well. It looks like we have folks that are overboard. I don't know if they're alive or not. Look lively, see if you can find anyone alive. So, I mean, you with your, your sight, as you are going through this, nothing seems to really be moving. Okay. Is there any way that we can tell how old the, this wreck is? How long these people have been dead? Um, everything is pretty contained. Um, Give me an intelligence check. Actually, Remy, give me an intelligence check. I was going to say. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you've seen a shipwreck before. Mm -hmm. It's a 12. Um, probably not too long. Mm -hmm. um, if it hasn't sank or floated away, it's, you know, pretty recent. In a week, maybe 10 days. Right. Um, be like, Ruckus, I need you. Huh? And I'm like, I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your whistle. Sound it, and let's see if anyone uh, awakes. Oh my god, I have a bosun whistle. <laughs> I haven't used this the whole time, and in addition to that, why would I use it in a very enclosed space? Do it. <laughs> but if we had a mic, it would be bad, but good thing we don't in this world. We exist what? in nothing. <gasps> <laughs> Turn it the other way. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not the other. Yes, it is. It's this way? You, you you hold it like this, oh, so, so, oh, okay. so you can control the the the, the oh. sound with your fingers. I've only ever played a saxophone once. <laughs> Did I do it? <laughs> it, was, it was great. We all heard it. We turned it off the mic for <laughs> For the sake so, of, of your ears, um, headphones users. I'm in um, right. Winthorpe, looking down at okay. everyone. So uh, this this 
whistle rings out across the way, and you hear it kind of reverberating around, uh, off of the rocks around you. Um, and you do hear, uh, uh, hey! You go searching coming from for different, it. a couple of different areas. Are you see maybe a four different voices mm -hmm. call up. Mm -hmm. And then shouts of, over here! <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. Where what we've seen in these waters? We need information. We only need one of them, though, right? <laughs> I have died. <laughs> we have wasted so much time. Fine. Fine. Uh, did, we don't have a brig, right? Um, you have a room you could make into one. Okay. Okay. We have plenty of people to guard them. We need information. And I can check them as they come in to make sure that they aren't undead or fiends. Excellent. Crew, there are men overboard. Here Let's retrieve are. them. Uh, Clint actually looks at you. Do we drop, drop the dinghy? Or do we just sail up? Ooh. If we can drop the ropes. How slowly are we going here? Uh, pretty slow. Pretty I, slow. I've, I've, I don't want to take the whole ship up. There, uh, the, 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 this is very well mapped and very well charted, but there can be rocks. There are rocks. They're yeah. right there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dude on that rock. Something, <laughs> something sank this vessel. Drop anchor. Aye, Captain. And I, I, I start to go through the procedure of dropping anchor. Okay, uh, so you go to set anchor. Uh, and, uh, Unfortunately, we're not going very fast, so it's going to throw us. And, yeah, and it slows to a stop. Cool. Have the crew fetch them. All right, and the, uh, the uh, uh, rowboat is lowered. Um, Bunny says, I'll go. Ruckus, you. will you go with them? Of course. Uh, yeah, I was yeah planning on, on a kind of accompanying them. Okay, right. Yeah. So you get into the boat. Bunny looks at you. I'll jump into the boat. Not magical spell jump, just right. jump into the boat. He looks at you. I guess I'm rowing. <laughs> <laughs> he starts rowing out. You're damn right. <laughs> he's just ripped at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All the rope. He's done. I mean, he's, he's he was already he has a great right. axe. Yeah. He is. A, <laughs> yeah, that's he true. Is a, uh, he, he actually, um, he, you actually notice he's he is significantly less depressed. Hmm. Wow, um, he, you know it's one of those things. I guess I'm rowing, rowing. But, <laughs> I mean, he's out in this. He's out. He's out in yeah. the open ocean and the stars. Hmm. Um, like, he's not underground in his Anathar Gale. So he's nice. Stress right. has so. the stresses of life have not affected you. Uh, so, so, he so, is so, way more stressed because he has no idea what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. He's had a pretty consistent idea of what was going on down in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's getting more sunlight. And he's, getting, <laughs> he's getting that serotonin from the friends die. You know, they're attacked by things, sharks. Yeah, <laughs> spontaneity is the spice of life. I think. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, so you row up. Um, I, didn't, I didn't give him any misgivings about what he would <laughs> no, find yeah, with yeah. us. Okay. <laughs> no, like we warned him, damn yes. it. <laughs> Ish. Wow. So I warned the whole crew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you make your way up into the debris field, and as you work your way through, um, you know he actually is using the oar and pushing some st stuff away as you're moving. Uh, yes. You see um, bird marks on planks. Burn. Burn. Oh, okay. I heard bird too. I heard yes. bird. It's because Winthorpe is there marking. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to say bird. Tiny though. little owl dropping a deuce right on one. <laughs> Is that I'll a theory of feces? <laughs> I mean, you would know. I mean, I mean all pellets. <laughs> I would. Uh, but but Winthorpe yeah. is watching them, and okay. I'm I'm watching you're as well. In, you're yeah. through. Yeah. Okay. So you see him going through. They're rowing through. They're pushing stuff over. They, they, you come upon a, a piece of timber with somebody laying across it, but they are. Head in the water, feet in the water, over it. Get him in the ship. Kind of. In the boat. Yes. Get him in this tiny ship boat. I think he so. pokes it, and nothing happens. He's like, let's, let's get a live one. 
Oh, I thought this one was moving. I stab it a little. <laughs> <laughs> poke it, but uh, stab. <laughs> so you, uh, yeah, so you poke it, and it's in it, like, kind of, it's, it's kind of bloated a little mm. bit, and yeah, the pus kind of shoots so out is, onto you. Mm. Three days of oh, uh, give me a dex check. Oh, come see, on! Let's just see if it, huh? let's see if Bunny. It's <laughs> like three days. Ooh, nice. Shit. So Bunny definitely dodges the, uh... <laughs> oh, God. If it poked it with the Saving aura. throw? Yeah. Still six. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it shoots in a line, just right onto oh. your face. <laughs> and I spit it away. People say it's supposed to seem satisfying from a distance. This is nauseating. And I'm just saying, <laughs> blind and deaf, I'm just saying as best I can, <laughs> Ruckus just got, oh, just everywhere. This is most excellent. <laughs> I'm going to ask you about that when you get back. <laughs> and uh, and Adraste hears from a distance, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and as it's over here, uh, as as you then move, you kind of Rocket, work stop your fooling way. around out there. Yeah, I'm having lo- loads of fun, <laughs> loads of pus-filled fun. And I throw the slime off, and then I'm gonna look at the corpse that was speaking. So you uh, you eventually work your way up, going through timbers and stuff, uh, to uh, pretty large piece, and somebody um, on hands and knees, waiting for you to get close. Like, oh, thank God. Uh, they are in tatters. They have a. a a tricorn hat? Hmm. Uh, no feather, but a tricorn hat keeping, that would keep the sun off their face if it was out. Okay. Hey, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, wait. I'll tell the boat to wait as well, but like, who are you? Uh, oh God, I should have thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ask of names. <laughs> it's hard to think of them. But why should I save you? Tell me that. Uh, we we were attacked uh, by another another ship uh, passing through here. Down this exact route? Y- yes. Well, around here, yes. We are right here. Oh, similar. Okay, good. Right, good right here, actually. Well, you're stranded here nonetheless. I'll put two and two together. Right, please. Uh, can I come on board? Who at- you, you, you have no idea who attacked you. Or why you were tra- uh, traversing this specific they, way? They were the monsters I've never seen before. Huh. They look a little demonish. I don't know. Uh, no. No, they look like hippos. That gives me more questions. <laughs> <laughs> you get on this ship, but just know if you double cross any of us. All of us will turn up against you. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we've established that. And I'll reach out a hand. Okay. And he, and he... I'll grip it tightly. <laughs> no. I am the one who gripped you tight and pulled you from perdition. Les Mis? Supernatural. Oh. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I can't get through all nine seasons. <laughs> There's like 15 at this point. Les Mis? No, CSI. <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh, he, cl- he climbs on board. Uh, you can tell he's weak. He definitely is not eaten for a few days. I'm going to gesture to the rest of the crew, like, keep an eye on him. But uh, the rest of the crew is Bunny. <laughs> it's just you yes. and Bunny. Yes. Yeah. You, you yeah. and Bunny. I'm going to imagine there's more of a crew with a gesture <laughs> around Bunny, but then I'll gesture to Bunny finally. <laughs> so there's, what, like three right. others out there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, so uh, over, the, over the course of the next... Uh, 30 minutes, you maneuver your way over and collect um, an- three other individuals that are in similar sh- uh, similar condition. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them has a broken leg uh, and is just seriously in pain uh, every time he moves. Uh, you manage to get him onto the ship and you s- onto the dinghy, and his face is just, at that moment, a huge... Like sigh of relief. Everybody is just thanking you profusely. It is. They were basically dead in the water out here. Hmm. Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm your hero. I'm aware. And <laughs> but we still need to interrogate you. And Bunny turns around, and as as he's going, uh, whenever he can, he just kind of pushes stuff out of the way, 
to kind of try and make a little bit of room. We'll see how long it lasts. Yeah. But he, is your flambridge still lit? Oh, I never lit it. I was just saying that was an you idea, did. but I you did on the really? ship. You said you lit you it. Probably, you oh, on the ship. Sheathed it as you went onto the dinghy. Oh, yeah. No, I check the tape. I guess I mouthed out the word light, but I did turn it off you, after you said, the oh. quick addressal of that mm. joke. You I said, can't remember the joke. I exactly. can see fine. Light mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> starting now. Yeah, it's not been on since then. I okay. think I turned it off after that meeting or around it. But all right, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So then uh, you guys head back and. The dinghy, uh, those who can, uh, no. Um, need to get the boat up, because people are going to be too weak to actually climb up. Well, I can walk and perfectly fun. laterally against a ship and carry a body or two, hopefully, right? No, no. But, no, but the slippers yeah. of spider... I just I, say that those things say you can walk horizontally on any wall. I'm not a body. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, but you're so close. <laughs> you're so close to Dan. I saved right. you. <laughs> what, what, before we get on board, what kind of ship is this? It's one, um, it's uh, owned by the irregular foxes or something, and we have a phoenix as our moniker on the ship. Yeah, don't worry, you're, you'll understand it soon enough. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so Bunny gets out, climbs up. Uh, he doesn't need to make a check. He climbs up and uh, gets overboard and starts making sure the the ropes get over. Yeah. They get yeah. tied yeah. up, and, and we it. start heaving them up. Yeah, I um, can and, literally carry one. And 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 and, <laughs> and as the dinghy's coming up, I'm gonna ca cast detect evil and good, just like watching to make sure there's nothing okay. weird about these guys. Uh, no. Cool. Nothing evil, weird about these guys. No aberration, it, fey, fiend, Because it doesn't give you alignment, it gives you specific. Right. Correct, no, yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about their alignment necessarily, we'll right. figure that out. I just wanna make sure we're not bringing fiend or ghosts on right. board. So yes, correct, uh, they are not. I have the, um, the crew ready and waiting with blankets for these guys um, to get them in, dry them off, and get uh, some clean clothes on them, if we can scrounge about for some clean clothes for them. Okay. And I'm also going to, as soon as they come in, I'm looking to see if anyone needs healing. Uh, yeah, uh, some of them desperately. All right. Um, uh, most of them just need food. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one guy with a broken leg that's just, it's going to need to be set um, and more of a medicine check than actual healing. Yeah, can I try and pop that back into place? If you're a little that's sensitive. That's not how about broken legs work. Really? Yes. We can't, we find out. We have. You we, don't pop it back into place. <laughs> no, but we have. But, but, it sounded like a ball joint issue. No, but, 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 but we have done a. Um, what is that called? Clint can do a splint. It's not. Hey. It's it it, 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 it wasn't a splint. It was um, <laughs> traction. We've we've basically done traction where where ruckus pulls it into place and I heal it. Mm. Yes. Doctors. Can 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 we do that again? Sure. Fantastic. Sure. Okay. Ruckus. Count of three. Please. Wait. Uh, wait. Before you just go pulling on his leg, this is going to hurt. Uh, but this is going to feel really good. We're going to take care of that leg for you, okay? Right, okay. Now, and I take the sheath with Kamara in it, uh, the leather sheath, right. bite down on this. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Three, that's way better than my body. Two. And you just see his face go... One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's talking to Kamara. <laughs> Kumara is in his head. Oh god, the poor then, thing. Kumara's our bedside <laughs> manner, like a... <laughs> Alright, you did that. So now I'm gonna say, what did I hear? Yeah. Um, uh, give me a, give me a, are you going to use, and you just tell me, strength, dexterity, or medicine? Uh, let me check medicine before I say strength. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, strength. <laughs> I'm gonna use strength to like pop that bad boy right into place. We've, okay. done, we've done this before without ripping a leg off. Slowly, gently. Gently. <laughs> nah, really needs more of a pop. And <laughs> uh, I literally 18. just told you okay. not to pop it. <laughs> so uh, yes, yeah, so you you pull. You're expecting a lot more pop. Okay. Than actually happened, but you kind of just pull it, and you just feel the leg kind of come out. Mm. A li I mean, not really, just a tiny bit. Just shift and, and then, and, and, and as soon as I see that it's in the right place, lay on, hand, uh, lay on hands to cure wounds. Okay, so you cure wounds. And that is... Uh, I think it's... Hmm? Nothing, go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's ten. Ten hit points. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, so so uh, he is healed hit points. Um, the leg is in place. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Clint actually comes in and starts splinting it. Yeah, mm -hmm. be gentle with it. It's healed. It, it's it, it's in place and healed, but mm -hmm. it, it it could snap again if you work too hard on it. So I think it's a good mechanic that if you have a broken leg, you don't get a long rest. So I think that sounds about right. So you heal him up for his hit points that he wasn't able to gather, mm. uh, and the leg has been set and is in a splint now. Okay. Neat. Okay, I look at them. I assume yeah. they look exhausted. Exhausted. Uh, they're hungry. Uh, the thirsty. Oh, and, I'm sure. And, like, All right. and Uzo. Call for it. Uzo actually comes over and starts gently pouring water down their throats. Oh, good. Drink. Um, um, I wanted to have a conversation with Uzo before they were coming oh, okay. as well while he okay. was taking that time to, to go out and do that. And I just really quickly wanted to say to him, I'm going to need you to help me with this. Yes. Okay. Please. All right. All right. So, so they're on board. Uh, they are uh, in blankets. Mm. Give me a perception check. Everyone? Yeah. <laughs> what about for my owl? Yeah. Shh. What do you think? Uh, He's doing an owl shimmy. Eh. <laughs> Look at him. No, not for you. Okay. 14 total. Three. 16. Oh. All right. Um... Everybody seems to be uh, just in that s state of shock and relief. Um, Should we roll for Uzo? No, uh, you got this. No, you got this. Uh, what you so what you what you see is that they are not like scouting the place out, you know, doing you know, trying mm -hmm. to take in anything. They're just like, oh God, thank God, this is finally over. Oh. And so, first things first, uh, let's get them some food, and uh, let's show them to their quarters, shall we? We have one extra room, which we are going to put you all in for a brief moment. Uh, then we'd like to make sure you get something to eat and ask some questions. Oh, yeah, F food, food will be great, more water. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to raise anchor and continue? Yes. All right. Okay. So... You lead them down into the room that is housing the, uh... Yeah. Um, Trace? Stace? I don't know. Oh, we're going to kick them out of their room well, and use that as the brig? There, 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 I'm okay with that. I'm just being clear. There was a clear. spare room that, that, that he said that we had that we could turn into a brig if we saw so inclined. So, uh -huh. I, yeah, I mean, there are people staying in it. Hmm. It could um, be a guest room or a torture dungeon. Who knows? A brig. Isn't that what pirates did? No? Don't ask me. Oh, right. <laughs> I've only heard tales. I haven't done that much. Right. So right. We'll, we'll take yeah. them down and uh, knock on the door, whoever's in there. Okay. Excuse me, we are going to need this room for right. the people that we just rescued. Yeah. So everybody is, in awake, is, is awake, and they're kind of like s sensing the motion of the ship stop um, mm -hmm. and the anchor come down. And they're, uh, oh, okay. They kind of gather up what they can and move out. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then as we're going down, I'll be like, oh, Androste, I? don't quite proceed just yet. Let's get a little information before we go. Do you want me to come with you? Yes, of course. All right. Uh, await our commands, I suppose. I'll be back. I'm going to go, go down right. with them. Okay. So all the officers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. down. Okay. So you guys are down. And then, you know, they're sitting on the bunks. Or really hammocks. Oh, I could, I could sleep. Food? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go go and collect some food. Mm -hmm. Just like quick rations or something. Yeah. Absolutely. So she brings it. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm coming. I'm uh, coming uh, back uh, in with uh, food. All four of them. Just eat slowly. It's, it's been a while. Give your give your stomach some time. Right. Right. Okay. That's I know that we're on quite the journey, and food is. At a premium here, so right. keep that in mind. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, 
We are the crew of the Griffin. Crew of the Griffin. Uh, and uh, who was your captain? Uh, uh, Dale. Captain Dale. Yes. And from whence did you make port? Uh, we came uh, from a uh, water deep. From water deep. And now, very, very importantly, what are you doing out here? Sailing. <laughs> Aren't we all? But uh, these are strange waters. They're not well charted on those charts. Yeah. For probably good reason. There's stuff out here. Pirates. What was your purpose out here? Uh, uh, we were heading to a, to a small settlement. I'm, I'm just signaling Uzo here. Okay. And his ability does... Uh, detect thoughts. Let's see it. D&D beyond <laughs> to be. D&D beyond to be. I'm sure he would have looked them over for magic weapons as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he items. does not see anything. I mean, they they're are. wearing basically rags, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you do see, um, <laughs> uh, you know, looking them over, you know, the when you start to kind of look them over, you see that one of them, you know, takes a dagger out and just kind of sets it down so it's not hidden anymore, but mm -hmm. that's no one else's armed. A lot of legendary creatures in these in these waters. A what griffin, a griffin, a <laughs> chimera, a phoenix. Oh, that is, that's that's true. I rather like it. All right, for the duration, you can read the thoughts of certain creatures. Yeah. When you cast a spell, as your action on each turn until spell ends, you can focus your mind on any one creature you can see within thirty feet of you. The creature you choose has an intelligence three or lower. It is unaffected. Gotcha. But initially, it's surface thoughts, and then you can probe deeper. I believe. And then, can he tell you things? Uh, through his telepathy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we but we can't respond. He can tell That's us stuff. Right. So, um, so when you ask him where he's headed, and he says a small village, mm -hmm. um, you also hear Uzo's uh, voice in your head saying, "They are going to Salt Marsh." A small village in Salt Marsh, perhaps. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's where we're headed. Interesting. Were, anyway. And, um, what were you doing in Salt Marsh? What was the reason for your visit? Uh, we were uh, told to be prepared to storm it. To storm it? Yeah. Tell me something about the Griffin. What kind of a ship was it? Sus. <sighs> It was a, a frigate. Frigate. Yeah, it was. Uh, we had a. We had. There was another ship with us. Uh, the Chimera, but it. Uh, well, we made a stand. What do you mean? There was another ship out here with the hippo men. With the hippo men. Yeah, and they. Uh, they. They. Bombarded us, and a frigate. Yeah. They destroyed a frigate. Yeah. How many guns? Ten. Ten guns on each side. And the enemy ship? Yo, that's how that's, many were on okay. the enemy ship. Okay. And on the Griffin? Eight. Eight. Total. And we have not that many. Three per side. Six, and then one oh. pursuit. Yeah. Oh, that's what those are. Um, <laughs> interesting, interesting. Um, and who was the captain of the Chimera? Uh, well, Colton, uh, Captain Admiral Colton. Admiral? Yes, well, I guess now he's a captain. You were part of his fleet? Yes. We lost another ship outside of Waterdeep. And in your head you hear, Oh, platinum. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Yes, that is unfortunate. Uh, and uh, what kind of business does Admiral is Admiral Colton in? Free freelancing business. A freelancing business. Shipping, imports and exports. <clears throat> Mercantile type yes. things. Excellent. Well, it's it's good that you didn't run into any pirates. Actually, that's just the kind of prey that they go looking for. But apparently, you did. Yeah. I well, found something anyway. Something like that. What can you tell us of this ship? It was big. Bigger than this one. Um, fast. Big and fast? Yeah. What? What did we pay for then? <clears throat> Don't worry. We will be fine. It's not about the ship, it's about the crew. Totally. Three cannons to each side. Ten cannons to each side. We can make. We can beat those odds. If it's faster than us, then let it put its tail to us. Hmm. And that'll be. That'll be fun. Yes. So, as I was saying, if we run into these uh, hippo pirates, I assume. Yes. Um, then we shall. <laughs> Are they really hungry or something? <laughs> <laughs> we the shall first. Hi, hippo people. We shall have to come up with a strategy against them. What did you guys do? We tried to outrun them. Tried to outrun. Yeah. Mm. They have uh, two follow cannons. Mm. OK. Uh, well. By the time we decided to turn and fight, uh, we got stuck in here. And slashed to ribbons. Yeah, we couldn't maneuver. Tell me, what kind of a man is, is this? Captain Colton? It's an odd question. I don't know. Uh, to be an admiral, one must be quite a great man, I think. What was your impression of him? He paid well. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, that's good. How long have you been sailing under his flag? Three years. Three years under the flag of... Captain Colton. And what were you going to Salt Marsh for again? And I'm. Uh, revenge is what Uzo tells you. Mm -hmm. And he's like, uh, someone owed Captain Colton something and he lived there. He lived there? Or lives there. How far ahead is the Chimera? We were sank four days ago. Four days. Four days. And how did you come to know about Salt Marsh? I mean, we barely just figured it out ourselves. Uh, we, uh, when we stopped off in Waterdeep, we uh, made a trade for a map. And it was, it goes, Electrum. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I think the time for a facade is over. You're aboard the Irregular Phoenix. I am the captain, Captain Slade Remington. It is a pleasure to meet you. These are my officers. This is Ruckus, and this here is Andros Inialo. Pleasure. You have both of them to thank for your lives. And Uzo says, that one says, oh shit. Really? Yes, that's um, so. And what is your name, sir? And by this time you kind of see looking up at you is somebody you recognize. Oh. Um, however, f you know, frail. Uh, you, you s a good sailor. Um, uh, I'm like, subscriber? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they, we need like a chart of names. So yeah. Floating you have there. the deck. I know, but it's way over there. Done here. Just <laughs> Denier. Sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Not Den the Queen of Dragons. Denier. Denier? No. Den Den I cut Denierius Targaryen in half. <laughs> yeah, veneers. <All> veneers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's trying to keep up with veneer. Yeah. Uh, so this is Denier, hmm. who uh, you sailed with. Um, 
competent sailor, uh, deckhand, mostly. Um, Denier, is that you? After all this time? Yeah. You're still alive, even under the command of that wretched man, Colton. He treated non-traitors well. Is that what you think of me still? That I'm a traitor? Well, you... Of course. Turned him in. Turned us in as pirates. And what? Just, just for the sake of this, because, you know, I could kill you at any minute. Um, just for the sake of conversation. Like, looking at what food he has, like, what is my best last meal? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's mostly, it's, it, it's mostly the, un, the, the nourishing bland stuff. <laughs> nice. um, just, just because I could kill you at any moment. Uh, let's, let's discuss that. Uh, you guys were planning mutiny. So, what happened then after Colton got back? What happened to you? Because, uh, as far as I can tell, um, one, Captain Barton Thorne, your quarry, has eluded you, no longer is in command of the Chimera, the ship that we both served on, the ship that Peter Colton served on as first mate. Mutiny. It was... You, you know this, Slade. Piracy pays better than privateering. It's about the money to you. Yeah. And where's your money now? Hmm? My family's done well. Uh, well. At least you have that going for you. Mutineers are the worst kind of traitor. Uh, I suppose. Are not all traitors the worst kind? <laughs> you said it. But a mutineer, they have a very specific obligation to a very small set of people. A set of ideals. Captain Thorne treated you with respect, treated all of us with respect, showed us what it was to be a pirate, showed us what it was to be men on the ocean, to be free. Yes, maybe it was better pay to go pillaging everything you see. And I suppose there's some romance in the idea of being feared. Colton was feared. Yes, he was. But Thorn was respected. There were 40 people on that ship. And only four of them were on the unmutiny side. You, who gave us up to the law. Thorn and the two people that helped him escape. You know, I, part of me was hoping that you would have succeeded. Usually not sitting right with your conscience, Denier. Even then, it was... I didn't know what we were doing. Most of us didn't know. We believed what Colton was saying. Well, and, well, it was a good couple of years, but look how it turned out. Yes. We hunted you for a while. Ah. <laughs> Until we found you, so I'm told. It's a rumor, anyway. Colton would speak of it. I bet you wouldn't. No. No. I bet he Rumors wouldn't. Are he, he shit himself. Well, it was hard not to notice the smell, but I assumed he came in that way. Yeah. He left me alone and set his sights on Thorn. Revenge is all this man knows. It 
has consumed him. Consumed two of his ships now. He's reckless. He is. He's not well either now. What do you mean now? Mutineer is not well at all. After that meeting, no. After that meeting, before the meeting, you know, we were strategic. We were a well-oiled machine. We were a plan. We worked well. We got our quarry. Hmm. Got our bounty. Hmm. Ransomed the ship. Or sunk it if it needed to be sunk. After the meeting with you, he lost... Well, he became focused on one and one thing only. Thorn. Hmm. And he's going after him. Sounds to me like Mutiny doesn't sit well with his conscience either. Hmm. Perhaps it's just unfinished business. Either way, one ship defeated both of yours. The Chimera. Well, the Chimera ran. Ah, so he abandoned you. Yeah. Hmm. That sounds like a wonderful admiral. Sounds like Colt. It does indeed. Uh, you know what, what, what happened, Ruckus? What, what happened? We, we had a couple of crewmen that, that almost died and were left behind. What, what did we do? I kind of want to whisper this for Uzo. <laughs> we left him behind. I'm just trying to do this. I'm not, I'm not good at it. But the point is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll see what Warren has to say. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just joking. Um, well, after they died in the water due to shocks. Nope. We, the no, one, before that. The water really? Deep. Yeah. Once in water deep. Jensen. Oh. Uh, so you oh, left yeah. your men to die in the water. But before that, he went back for them. Whether to find they them alive or dead. Still died in the water? Let me finish. He went back for them not knowing alive or dead whether they yes. were savable. Right. It right. doesn't matter if they were or weren't alive. It matters the fact that he went after them, regardless of knowing that. To kill them? To help them from their death in the case they were alive. Am it's, I making myself It's my fault for calling on How you? are you Sorry. not getting this? <laughs> <laughs> really, you should have known better. <laughs> We went yes. after them, is what we did. Right. Because that's right. what you do for your crew. It is. It is. Well, that's what a good captain would do. That's right. But I'm not sure if you're qualified to make that judgment. You had one. Yeah. For a good long while. And I was fooled just like all the other men. But look, I, uh... I understand what you have to do. I appreciate the decision. Now I'm ready to face my my choices. The consequences of your actions as a mutineer. These three gentlemen came later. I look at Uzo. They did. You know, I've acquired some more skills since you last saw me. I plan to be respected by my crew and my friends here and feared by my enemies. Like a good pirate. That is correct. Does Colton know I come for him? No. Then the advantage is ours. We've already seen that he will run from imminent danger. Perhaps he was just letting off the dead weight so that he could go after Captain Thorne himself. Either way, we are going to get to Thorne. 
we are going to stop Captain Colton and you are going to help us do it. You know that ship. I know that ship. How do we take her? It's going to be basically unguarded. The whole crew out on the... Well, a small contingent held back. From what I, I expect, Colton will stay on board while his men go and round up Thorn. Doesn't get his hands dirty, you hear that, Uzo? Of course. If he stays behind, perhaps we should pay his small contingent to visit and have Captain Thorne's ship ready for him when he arrives. I simply must see the look on his face. Sounds like a hilarious memory to me. Maybe we can make him shit himself again. <laughs> Never have I heard more beautiful <laughs> words. <laughs> then maybe they will rename that island. <laughs> Dookie Island. Dookie oh, Island. I knew this hey. trouble about it. Who am I? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is the pandemic crew. I yeah, just realized. Andraste, how far out are we from Salt Marsh? If we go back to our current speed after the um, after we have, after we get through this straight, two days. Two days max. If, two, you're, two, if you're going double shift. Two days All max sale. if we continue at, at speed before we got to the strait. And what kind of speed were you maintaining? We were good speed, but we weren't navigated well. He was making decisions rationally. We were losing time going east to come back. Mm. First I thought it was strategic. Uh, I don't think it was. Desperate is the sound of it. Or obsessed. So, the hope is that we catch him docked. We take him there, alive. And we let Captain Thorne make the decision. Not anyone else. Just gonna look at Remy in the eye. It is his decision to make. And it is his decision for you as well. Not mine. You will live for the time being. But you deserve to see Captain Thorne's face and hear his judgment. Hmm. You've got a good one here. We think so. Yeah. Doesn't mean we won't give him any crap for it. Well. Yes. I've sailed under a shitty captain. Yes, often had to wear his brown pants. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right. Very well. You will stay here under guard. Yes? All right. Absolutely. If you make any trouble on my ship, I will have you murdered immediately. Well, that's not the right word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Executed. Yes, it's, it's, it's very uh, different, different, different uh, nuance of meaning. It uh, is. We got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and Uzo goes, no, you will be murdered. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Uzo has anything to say about it. That's true. Oh, this is my first mate, Uzo, by the way. I imagine Uzo's just mean mugging him the whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like... <laughs> um, every given, give me perception checks. Mm. Hmm. Seventeen. Twenty-two. All right. A crisp six. Yeah, nice. 
<laughs> um, so you are just staring at these guys while you guys hear an alarm raised. Ship! Ship! In the straight. And... You hear a cannon. Shit! It's probably nothing. Raising and then a- another cannon. I'm gonna turn and turn and turn and run for the helm. As a cannonball <laughs> hits uh, the back side of the ship. We're gonna do things a little differently okay. than that. We're gonna abstract some of this out as we move on. Uh, but we are going to go to break real there quick. We're oh. going to come back um, for some ship to ship combat. We've been thinking about we've been yes. talking about a boat and mentioning, you know, like thinking about water a lot. I really have to pee. <laughs> I mean fair. Because there they are. There they are! <laughs> These ugly, ugly gif. Hungry, the hungry. GIF is how you say that, are coming out. <laughs> All right. Oh. I don't know if that's how you say the graphics in graphics interchange format. <laughs> but that's how you say GIF. I will absolutely look look Jod in the face and walk backward into hell over GIF. All right, so uh, we will be right back. Hey everybody. Uh, we'll be with friends. Hashtag <laughs> chaos in the chat right now for a chance to win a Gale Force Nine spell deck of your choice. Because the boy was triggered, or so we thought. We just dumped it out and said it's close enough. Because <laughs> uh, we needed the bits, and we since did. we weren't here, we. Figured Just it was full. Rolled with it. Yep. So, all right. So, we're going to be right back and then we're going to get in some combat. I had a weirdest dream. Looks right at Sen. Sen? How, how did you get here? Sen? Sen? Mayhem! Mayhem! You're still <laughs> in a dream. I'm still dreaming. No, I slap you in the back of the head. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you are a god. They are really good. <laughs> oh, they nicely. We'll get that clip later. If the, the morale is low, uh, just, just like anything. What do you propose I do, let's say, if... Clint forgets to prep something. Should I tell him he's pretty? <laughs> no. Uzo opens the door and he... <laughs> <laughs> Bunny, are you done with that yet? Do you need some help? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, actually, no, it's uh, it's all done. I right, got it. It's kind of ribbon. Thank you, though. Got it. You are doing a great job. Thank you, Bunny. Captain? <laughs> well done, he's right. We might have another devil. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, chaos. Uh, Ingvar Chaos. Yes. Ingvar Chaos. Yes. And uh, Hefland. Hefland. With one exclamation point. Hefland! Hefland. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> there it is, Hefland. <laughs> Cheers. Motto, Hail Ted. Out of ten. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, motto hashtag Hilt. Oh, excuse me. Hilt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the selling point of Hefland. That's how they else outsell Disney with their cults. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My son, do you know the difference between a Catholic and a Protestant? I know that you both believe in, in this, uh, Jesus Christ, and that you have a, a split in the church that happened many centuries ago, and then the... or hundreds of years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 Monk tits! <laughs> Entire yes, yes yeah. no, we're all whispering. <laughs> we're all we're whispering. just speaking, speaking normally for the sake of... I am also whi- <laughs> <laughs> whispering! <laughs> so, everybody in there? Roll it. <laughs> That's great. It's half, everywhere. Half, clip it, quick! <laughs> <laughs> I rarely get startled. Here is <laughs> the mighty myself. meeple. Perfect. Perfect. And Josta and I shall take the dinghy, you two shall take the strap on. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So the first attempt, um, so you kind of, you jump on his back and you're like trying to get the loops around here. And you start kind of choking him a little bit. You see you've kind of got like reins. You're like, oh, this will work. Uh, and and stay you start still, like, Uzo. <laughs> Jesus. He starts choking you. Get off. 
Did he say Taita? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I, I jumped down. Hold on. Maybe we need to plan this out better. Yeah. <laughs> Pull my hair a little bit. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh, they're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting off now. <sighs> Don't make him see that. As see long that. as someone does. Don't look, but don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cardboard and Chaos. We are the Chaos Agents. We're not. No, we're not. <laughs> I am not a Chaos Agent. <laughs> this is Cardboard and Chaos. Don't you put that on We are Chaos and Chaos, and tonight we are playing Arkham Horror, the living card game. Uh, the hey, everyone, we're going to drop the beats. Let's do this right now. I'm a super white guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just a white guy. I'm a super white guy. Boy, <laughs> that is gonna get clipped. Huh? He's a <laughs> super All right, that channel here for some natural one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get going because it's already 10:30. Yeah, Thank man. you guys very much for joining us. We'll see you next week, and thanks for starting your week off right with a critical fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is weird. <laughs> 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 see you guys. Bye. Uh, Please oh, make me a death saving throw. I will. Choosing the dice. Choosing the dice, it's gonna decide it. Turn up the dance! Oh! <laughs> no! It's the nat one. <laughs> oh! That's the way he dies? That's weird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Ruckus. Your life. Just. Slips away in a cloud of blood around you. I make eye contact with the shark uh, before I die. <laughs> you see Remy on it? Yeah. You see Remy on top of it, and your body floats to the surface. I'll haunt you, shark. That's my last words. <laughs>
Hello everyone and welcome back to Quests and Chaos. Uh, we are going to roll for that uh, winner right now because I didn't do it during the break. Um, oh yeah, that was me. Better to do like, it on stream though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on stream everything will be great. All yeah. right, more exciting. Go. And <coughs> roll it, Nightbot. NASA six. Hey, hey oh, Drew. Our, our, our dapper Drew. Very dapper. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sounds a lovely good. picture up today. <laughs> Congratulations. So, uh, oh, damn. we'll attempt to whisper you later. But for now, um, there's a ship of gif. A gif ship. Uh, <laughs> it's just loading the same <laughs> five feet of space. <laughs> How long ago did you print these gifs? Oh, God. Months. <laughs> months ago. Months ago. As soon as, as, as soon as you got the resin printer, it was one of the first things that you printed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So however long that's been. Holy crap. We saw right? one originally, and they were like, oh, okay, gif gunslinger, okay. okay. Yeah, and funny. then we saw more and more. <laughs> and, and, then, and then he's no. painting this little army, and we're all just like, that's probably not going to come up. It went from, yeah. that, oh, that's cute, to, oh, he's doing a thing. <laughs> I, you know, it's it, it's one of those things, too, where it's hard not to share this mm -hmm. with you guys mm -hmm. or hide it from you, I guess, is both the... Because there's not a lot of room here to work on stuff without yeah. people seeing. Yeah, yeah so if I see a like humanoid... Last night, I was, like, trying to finish painting on a bunch of They look stuff. great. They look good. Yeah. They look really good. Well done, man. I love... I, and these minis are free off Thingiverse, so it's very... Yeah. Perfect. If you can get Thingiverse to load, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, before we get going, we have bits that are coming in. Hey, you guys we're going to need them. Some on some, uh, yeah. Bullshit. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, 500 bits. Yes. Because there's there's math between the Apollyon and, and I don't think it's actually diphemism. Diphemist? It's it's the oh. prompter. We should turn off autocorrect. We really should. That's what we should do. Um, Just vented, no. invented when, a new religion. When <laughs> I keep type in that. there and it's wrong, that's usually me. Because <laughs> it's not going to correct the wrong I mean, it, it, it will turn Tomago into tomato. Oh, yeah. Uh, my favorite is tamale. Tamale <laughs> toy. How did you? It's, and, and, you know, because you just hit type enter and, like, hit go. And then it says tamale torga. <laughs> tamale torga? Tamale torga? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the Apollyon and Diphemist, uh, 500 bits. We'll go right there. Thank and you. Our very own tamale tor tora. <laughs> <laughs> tamaga tora. Speaking of tamago tora. Yes. Donate. Donate. Yes. Thank you. All right. Bow to you. There it is. All right. Thank you. That is 500 bits. And then we have, oh. Oh. Tell what? me more. My second favorite Twitch user. Oh yeah, squirrel on the run. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my favorite Twitch user is Alpha Pop. I mean, of course. Um, there can only be one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred bits to me. No, hey, you okay. Okay. Squirrel. And what? <laughs> Five hundred bits to you guys. Squirrel. Thank you. On the run. <laughs> Squirrel. Yeah. I can't remember the rest yeah. of the actual song. We should. Uh, I. I think that. Uh, I do think that Squeal could come up with a very good version of that. Squeal. <laughs> Squirrel on the run. Squeal right, on uh, the run. And then. Uh, Squeal on the run. How did no one think of that? <laughs> <laughs> Squeal on the run. Oh no. <laughs> Squeal on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just absurd madness. That's a <laughs> uh, Tora, Five hundred bits to the players for sending the gifts. Send in the gifts. Send in Send. the gifts. <laughs> send wait, wait. In and the gifts. And this is why none of us are bards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just send in okay. the gifts. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty singing in the rain. <laughs> oh my god. It's not sending the it's sending the clowns. Right? That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, anyway. Nope, sorry. Anyway. Uh, thank you guys. Um, thank you so much. Let us and tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes are wonderful. <laughs> Roll initiative. Tomato. Have we gotten to the top at this point, or are mm -hmm. we rolling initiative as we run? Uh, yeah, you guys are good. Great. Oh. Bo, do you have faith in this roll? I do. Blow on this roll. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 11. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> initiative? Ooh. Mm hmm Oh, 11. All right. <laughs> what, that decks, uh, though. <laughs> yes. What is your initiative? D 13. Oh, my goodness. You no know more than that? Mm -hmm. Go behind Uzo. That's a four, bro. 16. I would like to spend. <laughs> I think it's sixteen. You're behind me too. Uh, a reroll would actually do best. Yes, do it. Go for it. Mind all both of them. 
Yeah? Yeah. What? She seconded one inspiration, I seconded the other. They're right, both fine. aware we'll of the contract. We'll just do the one then. Just we'll just do the one. Signed just his blood. Just the one D6. Right? Just the one D6, <laughs> actually. So that hey, was... That's funny. <laughs> Wait. The one D6? Just the one D6. Yeah. Oh. It's 14. Uh, <laughs> Reroll. You know, you're still Should've behind done me it. and do it. Yeah. So. Should've done it. Yeah. All right. Uh, is mine worth? Yours it's only 11. 11. Lead ways. Okay, only 11. gotcha. Okay. So we are fighting these these lovely oh, individuals gods. here, <clears throat> a militaristic uh, hippopotamus race. Oh, wow! Called the GIF. I like or GIF. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We nope. don't know. We don't. It's their. Nope. They do it. <laughs> they do them. <laughs> All right. So uh, Uzo, top of the lineup, is going to spend uh, all of his actions running up to the top of the ship. Yeah. Uh, actually, he spends half of his action running to the top ship. The other half, he spends casting Armor of Agathus. Oh, fair. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, and he gets um, just uh, to the main deck. Okay. Andraste. Uh, I am going to spend every inch of action to, to, to get as close to the helm as I can get, yelling the order to him to raise cannon as I go. All right, uh, and you are down that you basically pass them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm like flying past, yelling, raise anchor, raise anchor. And we see them next to us here? Um, yeah, how uh, far away are they? Uh, so the first uh, couple of rounds, they're not going to be right next to you. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, they're moving up, but they are moving swiftly. How far away are they as of, the t- as, as of this round? At the end of this round, uh, they're going to be 120 feet away. Good to know. All right, yeah, I'm I'm sprinting for uh, the helm. Point of order. Mm-hmm. How did they see us if they were too far away for dark vision? Uh, they, <laughs> they heard you. Actually, <laughs> they heard you. Well, well, they they heard you us. seen the size of their ears? Well, and, the, and, and they probably saw oh, our lanterns on the, on the ship because we, we didn't douse them. Mm, fair enough. Fair Is enough. there a bird in any one of their mouths right now cleaning it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nat Geo. Um, <laughs> I like as that. I as I pass Uzo, though, I'm gonna look at him and say, "As soon as you can, can you cast Fly on me?" Okay. Thank you. And, and, and keep going. <laughs> Pull my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh, that's right. You were looking over the clips. You were looking over the clips. I forgot that. You know, and if you would have been in the break, you would have seen that as well. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Two for. So you make it uh, to right about there. Okay. And you notice that there are a number of your uh, crew members who are to arms. Mm-hmm. Remy, would you also like to run up? Yeah, absolutely. As close as I can get. Can. Uh, of course, ordering, you know, as soon as you see them, open fire. Okay. Wait for the broadside. So, yeah. You got, okay, perfect. Because of the way you guys stopped. Um, there go. They close 60 feet, and they you can tell that they are, they are moving up real fast to get beside you. So they're currently 120 feet they're away? They're currently 60 feet. Belay that fly, I'm going to stay here. <laughs> I'm picking up your verbiage. <laughs> Ruckus, you go, you're down there. Is it all my movement to get to the top of the ship? Right now, like on on top of the deck to fight, help fight. Uh, yes. The cannons will operate. The cannons will operate independently uh, of me mm. by themselves without you. Jensen is, if he's not down there, he's heading down there. And you did, you guys did a good job teaching everyone what to do. I have trained them well. Woo-hoo. So we're gonna abstract some of the ship to ship combat um, as it is happening around you guys. Mm. Um, so. Nice. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna run to the top of the deck, and if I'm not in, I can't like hit anybody once I get up there. No. Nope. I'm gonna immediately throw out one animal from the bag. Uh, tan bag of tricks. He's Uzo out. No, he's he's. <clears throat> so you can move. So you can you can't reach the top. But you oh. can reach the stairs and throw your animal out the top. It's a, oh, yeah, it's an action. I will do that. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's an action. Right. Uh, tan bag of tricks, thrown out. 
something. Five is a black bear. Hey. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw it at the, if I can perceive someone there, I'm gonna throw it right on top of them. You would like to throw it on top of somebody that you perceive. Okay, an enemy that I perceive. <laughs> 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 that is not familiar in any way capacity. <laughs> I don't think we've been boarded. Yeah. So oh, yeah, those are so our, those are ours. ours. Okay, never mind. Just in the between some <laughs> dudes I recognize. I want to replace. We've got a Clint. Hey. There he is. We've got a bunny. I was gonna say bunny, bunny, bunny. bunny. I got surprised. It's normally figures that are enemies, and I'm like, yeah. oh, no, same. <laughs> it's weird to have figures on our side. All right, I've adjusted. Uh <laughs> I, yeah, I put uh, I put these guys, you know, like the bandits and stuff behind. The DM screen, just because everybody walks past and be like, mm. and then I put the GIF in the book of inspiration. <laughs> that's Smart. why. That's why you dumped all the all the, all the book of inspiration yeah. out. Clever DM. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nice. So, yeah. All right. Um, that's Ruckus. We are at the top of the lineup. Um, at this point, let's do a roll for the cannon. So all of the cannons basically go off. Okay. All of yours. Your one up top has been turned. Um, as the ship is, it's still behind you. It's not quite in this position. It's still behind you. Um, and your one follow cannon has been mm -hmm. turned around to shoot backwards, and their two is shooting. But we're just going to abstract this, so we will just do a d20 roll, and we will figure out um, what to how it. good it is for us. Okay. So your cannon did very well against them. Yes. So Take that. I will say I rolled a six. Oh. And your cannon did significant damage. Significant damage. Where is the significant damage approximately? Oh, I'm sorry, I rolled a six. Some damage. D uh, how can we see about where the damage is? Um, it's towards the front. Okay. Because it is coming, it is coming in at an angle beside you. So next turn, it's it's next to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you give me a, a roll, or should we have the cannoneer do it? Yes, absolutely. Right. Captain I mean, told we, us. We can, we can actually take, rotate. Yeah, rotate through. <laughs> I did Dracula's voice. Frau <laughs> <laughs> Captain's <laughs> orders. There yes, that's it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, 20! 20! Yeah, 20. Oh, it's clean. It's clean. Yes. It's a field goal, I think. <laughs> it's a sports ball. It's a sports ball <laughs> reference. <laughs> um, so, hold on, hold on. My sure. brain is trying to. Uh, uh, Reconcile. Fair enough, but I'm going to save that for later. Okay, so. Maybe I did not make these mechanics out very well. I, I, have, might, I need to take a moment just to figure it out. I have so, a PDF of you. <laughs> so you did great. So you will have advantage on your next roll mm. for the nat 20. Ooh. You get a card. Which is 1d6 after making the saving throws. Noise. We might need that. Um, Dual noise. Noise. So that's you. Yeah, do you want to keep that over here? Sure. To them. Teamwork. Them. That way all of us can see what cards we have. Teamwork. Sorry, working on I got I got it. Teamwork. <laughs> Difficult for you to say? Just more to mentally grasp. <laughs> Fair enough. Someone banter with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll banter right back at you. I'm still not certain I did this at all right. So. All right, well, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll go to the next one. We're doing it live. I have the PDF. It's a nat 20, honestly, so it's a, oh, it's yeah, a yeah. good yeah. indicator of something. Yes. <laughs> of something. Um, I'm just, I, I think that I just kind of messed these up here. I'm a hero. Don't worry. This is just as physically demanding as <laughs> Good indicator sports. of something. <laughs> Gosh. Can we get that on a shirt? <laughs> it's too long. That's okay with I'm okay with that. Just just one yeah. shirt. So just I'm, for me. I'm still as thinking so like, like roll bad does damage. Rolling good also does damage. <laughs> I was like, wait. Trying to figure out how this mm -hmm. how this uh, uh, operates here. Okay. Hmm. But I think if they roll this to you. You roll that. They roll this to you. I just imagine ships like rolling those those those, yes. those, mm. those red balls that you get at school. <laughs> right. balls anyway, back and forth. so uh, we'll figure that out. <laughs> um, I got him! I got him! <laughs> oh my god! 
I ended a dodgeball. Quick personal side story. I ended a dodgeball game once. Me and a friend, they were like, game, that's it. Me and him made dead eye contact and we threw at each other and we matrix styled. And I was a very heavy child, so this was <laughs> immaculate for me. But <laughs> So we matrix styled, just fell on the floor and just dodged each other's ball that's immediately. Amazing. That's wonderful. We you bonded. Are the one. We bonded. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Dodgeball's a great game. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Played it. It's a true underdog story. <laughs> it is. I've seen part of the film. Weep torn. I've seen it once. I forgot. <laughs> Except for some oh. good jokes. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. I really did. You know, there's nothing like the first watch because yeah. of all the like cameos and stuff that, that hit and yeah. That's, that's nice. there's a, I don't know, there's a lot of jokes I just don't remember, but I remember mm -hmm. I thoroughly remember enjoying that ride, except for uh, I don't know, I just always forget Vince Vaughn, whatever he says. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> Justin Long did really good in that as well. The physical humor, you know, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah. Oh, him, okay. <laughs> yeah. Rip yeah. Torn. Rip Torn. Rip, rip, rip Torn. Torn. Yeah. So good. Peter Tork just died. Oh. That's it. He's, he was a monkey. He was a monkey. Wait, that actor was a monkey, or? Okay. <laughs> I legitimately do not know. That's, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Bass player for the monkeys. <laughs> TV show. The monkeys? The I do get it. I do get, Again, I get it. I'm 140. So. <laughs> <laughs> I get that one though. <laughs> Which is why he makes obscure references. We are the From monkeys. The 60s. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get screamed uh, at. <laughs> we're here so to I play. Like, Batman reruns when I was a kid. So, but they were like reruns of rerun, like Nick at Night. Like, you know, mm. like it's, it's not like I was watching the 66 Batman because I wasn't alive. Alive then. I, mean, I was, but I was in a flak so. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> no, I feel closer. I get it. <laughs> Is Thomas a lich? <laughs> Reborn! A god! Uh, amongst yeah, ants! So, uh, hold on, yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Should we banter more? No, uh, okay. almost sure? there, almost there. Sure. Almost there. Alright, so you're nat 20. Um, you did significant damage to significant. a well-placed shot. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, from your crew members. I knew it indicated something <laughs> good. All right. I mean, it would have to. Vaguely good. <laughs> um, Uzo uh, up at this point uses 30 feet, arrives up here, sees out, and he's got his stupid 240. 240. Elders uh, Blast. So is it two of the same person, or can it be different? It can be different. One right and left. Yeah. yeah. I must have Uzo died. is just swinging it around carelessly. <laughs> the range. It's very magnificent. <laughs> it's I, do I get a card when I roll a one for Uzo? For us? Yeah, sure. sure. <sighs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's a player character. Yeah. Oh, wait, for uh, Uzo. I shouldn't be rolling for him. Uh, minus 1d6 after him. But one was a total hit, so that's going to be... I mean, like, quick side, I like, you roll for, like, other players when they're gone, mm -hmm. so I feel like I buy it if yeah. it rolls up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, somewhere. unless we go and get the other tablet and have it ready for someone yeah. else to run. We've done that, but... Yeah. And it is on us for not calling it, because we've seen Thomas's rolls before, so now we're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. It's either very good or very bad. And now it's on us. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, there's a lot of gif over there. <laughs> yeah, they're just all reloading. Same five seconds. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we'll attack you. We'll attack you. We'll attack. <laughs> I don't get the joke because it's supposed to be pronounced GIF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's on me. <laughs> All right. Um, so he does two plus his charisma modifier. So seven. So seven. Five. Yeah. Okay. There it is. All right. Okay. Untraste. Fantastic. They're within 60 feet of us? Yeah. Wonderful. Um, I'm, yeah. <laughs> you knew. Wait, wait, get that other you deck knew. of cards also. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I'm, I'm going to go up so, so, so I can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to drop a wall of flame 60 feet long down the center, and I'm going to specifically be going after the masts and anyone who's close to them. So you can't. So you can get to about yay. Okay. Um, so. And with 60 feet, I should be able to do all but one where, tile. Uh, which this. one do you want to do? 
Um, you want to do two lines? No, I want to do one line 60 feet long. Get both of them masts. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm specifically dropping it on the masts and the sails, but everything else that, that's gotcha. in. Gotcha. So, interesting nice. that you do that. So. You see, slide this one down a little bit here. You see this area mm -hmm. where you expected there to be the the uh, forty feet or uh, twenty feet more of wall. Nothing happens there, and it just ends right around here, and poof, and things go down. So which side will take damage? Uh, the side closest to the masts, so All the right. front side. So you're going to start doing damage to the masts. Yeah. Which it's a um, deck saving throw. Well, for masks, masts, it's yeah. not. A, <laughs> it's just that's why I'm gritting the shit eating grin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. What is the dex on a stationary object? <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Oh, good to know. So it fails. <laughs> Do I have another one of those sheets? Can I see your sheet? Your... This one? Yeah, because you're specifically doing that. Yeah, I'm specifically aiming at the, at the sails. Because I know that okay. they'll be... I know that they'll be dead in the water <laughs> if they're sailless. It's a feeling we can relate so, to. So, roll your damage. Because it, uh, yeah. It does 5d8, um, and then... Um, any creature that uh, enters the wall for the first time or ends its turn within 10 feet of the of the side I specified uh, takes the damage as well. Is that where you want to place it? Would you like to? Because I really way it gets want, I really masts. want it like running down the masts, so more like here. So gotcha. I'm also getting these guys. Okay. Um, Sorry. Oh. That works. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right, so I'm and and it's this side of it that's doing it, and right, it's okay. anyone who's within ten feet of it when the wall appears. All right. Nope. Nope. Those are both fives. That's also a five. So three fives in a row. Fantastic. On those guys. Yeah. All right. So that is fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven points of damage. Nice. You can't add inspiration. And they to all them. fail that. Okay. That'd be funny. If just like get an extra d6 of damage. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be no, fantastic. Like, oh. um, and I'm gonna like tuck myself back a little bit so I'm not an easy uh, target. So you could. So, it so was, I, I, have, I have 35 feet of movement. 5, 10, 15. <clears throat> So, so yeah, you could just duck back there. Yeah, I'm like tucking yeah. myself back back close against the door, so I'm not an easy target. But right. I'm also going to I'm going to call to Uzo, and I hope Remy's within earshot. Um, there's something blocking magic at the front. All right. Remy. And that's my turn. It is, the front of the ship is 60 feet back. Behind us. Yep. And there's fire down the center. Okay. Yeah, and you do, so that was 33 to the sails as well. First thing that happens is Winthorpe <laughs> shoots off, up, and goes over and flies his 60 feet um, into the air. And okay. Gets, and just watches All right. for the time being. Um, as that's happening, I'm busy just saying a couple of brief words to the crew, saying, now is the time, gents. This is what we're here for. It seems fitting the gods test us against these creatures. How about we send them to meet them, shall we? And uh, then I will reach out with, uh, end that by reaching out with my Eldritch Blast and just going <laughs> firing All right. two at them as the purple energy kind of Comes up into Kumar and then poof, ruptures okay. out and spirals. So um, you can ta you can target um, anyone on the front half of the ship. Mm -hmm. Is um, there anyone particular you want to target? 
the the hooded gentleman up there has taken damage. Mm -hmm. The hooded gentleman. Um, the blue. The this baby, guy. Yeah, the baby blue. Uh, yeah, the okay. Yeah, the f <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll I'll fire at him. Baby Both of them. Blue. All right. First one is seventeen to hit. Hits. All right. Second one is 15 to hit. Does not hit. Does not so hit. your first one <laughs> shoots Seven. out and over the railing and <laughs> blasts onto his, like, it's hard, you know, from here, well, I mean, here you can see, but it's like blasts off and the second one hits the railing in front. It's so Doing hmm? nine it's points so of damage. Nine points of damage. Way more than Uza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like there's a dick measuring contest here or anything. But he is back And then after, after I do that, <laughs> and you see one <laughs> yeah. hit them, I say, <clears throat> Show no mercy, and uh, that'll be my turn. All right, I think. All right. Oh, it's there. I go. Shit. It's there. I go. It's there. I go. These guys are not happy. Can't imagine why. Shh. <laughs> serious. Uh, no, not that guy. <laughs> Okay. They have a jump speed? No, they have Dimension Door. Oh, there you go. okay. Uh, they didn't It's like, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> he runs into here. <laughs> Ew, you know what? Nope. Eh. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. If, it's, if it's what I think So it Yeah, is. so he moved to here. He's going to take damage as soon as he gets out of that, right? If you uh, move into the space? Uh, yeah, if, if, if you move in, into that 10 feet. All right, so um, this guy, that guy is going to take damage as he moves in out of the anti-magic field to be able to dimension door. Does he take the full 33? Yeah, or, or I can roll for it. Uh, he'll just uh, take the 33, because he did until the end of... I also uh, need to do math better. We just see one dude flailing <laughs> until he gets out of the fire. <laughs> so right now, everybody is out of the fire. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But the stuff is starting to catch. Nice. Um, do, 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 do the sails also take damage at the end of their turn? Um, you would be at the top of... So it, 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 it says... Um, a uh, creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall or ends its turn there. Gotcha. Okay. So that'll be the ship. So, you do have a number of uh, people with muskets that are about to fire. Oh. Um, I'm tucked further back against that wall, <laughs> just for the record. Um, I don't have okay. to see it to maintain concentration. So, uh, so all of them you notice, uh, even if the mini doesn't have, they all are carrying firearms. So, first one up top. Sees the cannoneers, and they have a. Let me look at this real quick. So they all have muskets and pistols. Um, the musket is forty-one twenty, so they are at disadvantage. So shooting your two crew members up top. Eight. Twelve. Not gonna hit. Second guy shooting those up top. 14 is going to hit leather armor, which is, I know Bunny has a different and Clint has different armor, but everyone else is wearing leather. So, yeah, it's going to hit. Kind of making this up. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. <laughs> 14 points of damage to a crew member. We need stats on all the crew members. Oh no. Oh, um, <laughs> actually, let me back that up, because they're... Here. Yeah, they're not. With cover of this, they would have missed the person in back because they're actually back here. So, uh, they missed. Mm. These guys are out of range, um, and that's that's it there. Neat. So, ruckus. However, next time the ship is going to be right next to you guys. So, ruckus. And, and, and the sails took that damage again because it's the end of their turn? Uh, at the, sure, the end of their turn. So, the sails are mm -hmm. 
how much movement is it going to take me to get from where I am to the to the deck now to see everybody uh, and even the invaders or on the ship on our ship? Ten feet. Cool. I'll so run that ten, 10 feet. feet to get right uh, here where you're at. Huh. 15, 20, 25, If you wanted to get next to uh, next to one of them. My thought right now is I think anything might help even on there. With it, we're within a 120 foot range of their we're in 60 feet. mass right now. We're, yeah, we're within 60 feet of them. So then, yeah, planning. Yeah. Okay, cool. I want to help even destroy their masts. I want to make them a floating <laughs> turd in the bowl. Because <laughs> if, if they can't go past and strafe us, that'll mm-hmm. be so much the better. I'm running out. Yes. All right. So if actually, ten, ten to there. Uh, I will run out with war magic. I'm going to cast Firebolt on their mast, which is 120 foot range still. Okay. Uh, so just, yeah. I can also attack, is what I'm saying, after that. Cool. 16 plus hit DC 6, 22. Okay. That's Two gonna, hit. That, that'll hit. Fantastic. 2d10. Bada bump. Nope. Where is it? Firebolt, yeah. Yes. Cool. Bolt. Did I say bolt? bolt? Okay, cool. Uh, ooh. Um, 12, 13 total. Plus... Nothing. Plus nothing. 13 total damage. All right. uh, To their masts. And uh, because of war magic, I can cast the cantrip, and I can run out and use an action to attack. I think Firebolt also lights things on fire. Mm Mm-hmm. It does. As I read it. (laughs) There's a gift next to you. Good. Uh, well, I hope he loves the feel of Flamberge in him, because <laughs> here's what's happening. And yeah, first attack, Flamberge. 19. Nice. Plus the nine. Oh, 28. Now is that, that's a is it doesn't a crit? Is it a crit yeah. for you? Yeah. Where would I see that again? Yeah, we added it to we, the blade. We added that to, to you. the blade. To the blade. So you crit on a 19. Fantastic. So it is a crit. So it's a 1d8. So it's 2d8 then. Yeah, you can yeah. either roll one and double what you roll or roll two of them. Or. It's good I did that. <laughs> um, It's one and five, six. Plus the six? Yeah, plus the six. Okay, so 12 total. 12 total. Okay. Yeah, I would have doubled the one. All right. And. Um. So because we forgot to do this, uh, well, no, we're not there yet. It says when you use your action to cast a cantrip, you can make one melee weapon attack as a bonus. As a bonus okay, action. so yeah. it, no more after right, this. Right. Okay, then yeah, I'm good. And that's your bonus action. And you, so you can't control your, tell your animal what to do. Because it's a yeah. bonus action. Yeah, yes, correct. All right. Done. So top of the lineup. This boat now gets, it's slowed down a bit, but it gets broadside and it cut and it curves and it is going to fire cannons, all of the cannons. Does it seem to be slowing down with its it did sails slow down. being chewed up? Yes. Slightly. So you are also stationary. Yes. So it is. I'm making sure they can't hit and run away. Right. So. I need everybody to make me a d20 roll um, as the cannon fire goes off. Mm. Nat 20. All right. Plus anything? Nope. Seven. Thank you. A four for me. A four. So you are. You can add a 1d8 after making a saving throw, maybe. Is it a saving throw? throw? What is this? Is this luck? It is is pretty much a luck. It is Mm. just a thing. So. Under five, um, so as these all basically 10, 12 cannon fire from this thing. Um, Sorry, 12 cannon? Yeah. There's 10 on the side and two follow cannons. 10 on each side. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. Cool. <laughs> I'm bad at math, but that was my math. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was five on each side, total of 10. No, because you can hmm. see them. Um, Please, uh, I can, so, here, let me so, put my fingers. <laughs> cannons go off and shit starts exploding, right? 
Um, where you are uh, close to mass. So this is going to hit maybe the railing, maybe the side, but things start splintering off, and you are going to take damage from the um, from a cannonball. Oof. Where did my D6s go? Oh, yeah. All the green ones? Yeah. Nice. So this is uh, five or less. For reference. One will be a different thing. Um, I'm gonna be like blasted off the ship pike. <laughs> so, uh, 13 points of damage is just shards of wood start splintering everywhere. Can I uncanny dodge? Yeah. Yeah? Use my reaction to uncanny well, dodge? Because it wasn't a deck save. I mean. No, no, it's an attack. No. That's uh, evasion you're thinking gotcha. of. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you can use it. Yeah? Hmm. Okay. Uh, then I will take, what would that be, six damage. Okay. Um, and as your cannon also fire off. Okay. Your cannons are less effective. Hmm. But now, at the top of the lineup, let's do our d20 roll to see... Um, that was just how effective they are at hitting you guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or individuals. Now let's see what it does to the ships. Do you want to take a okay. turn rolling at this one? Since we said we were uh, I just rolled so poorly. <laughs> but maybe that means it's cocked for a good one. Yeah? Yeah. You think it's, you think that, come ready? on, that like a gun. Like a gun. No, I was thinking like, like, like the die cocked because, because oh. it says caught on something. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> oh, fake. Natural 20. Thank you, Lyra. <laughs> Take the fuck out of Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates right. that. <laughs> so, yeah, being religious, yeah. So, <laughs> as this ship is like coming in and slowing down a bit, they fire off all of their cannons everywhere, right? <laughs> so, um, hits aside, some of them miss. Um, they do some damage to your ship. Mm. Um, obviously enough to splinter a big thing and, and mm -hmm. hurt you. You, on the other hand, um, waited just a bit longer. Uh, Jensen down in the bottom going, Steady. Hold, Steady. wait a minute, <laughs> and now. <laughs> and Who's that speaking? 20 is <laughs> and, oh, yeah. and just blasts into the side of it, doing very significant damage. Mm. Um, you actually see from here holes in the wall at the water line, mm. and it starts to move. Man, two nat twenties. That's so. <laughs> so this so this mechanic is um, teamwork. If you rolled a one, take a picture of it. You <laughs> do this. Um, if you do a two to five, is just superficial damage. Uh, six to ten is some damage. Mm -hmm. You actually have advantage on that roll, but oh, yeah. I don't need it. Um, Not at all. It's your try. Eleven to fifteen is more damage, where you get to a, a, a plus two to their hit points, so two hit points. Um, Sixteen to nineteen, three hit points off, and twenty four hit points off their ship. Wow. Um, already done eight hit points off their ship. Um, and this was an arbitrary number, and I believe we're not going to go super. I mean, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Two net 20s in a row, though. Yeah, we slain it around. <laughs> I was, you know, yeah. Magnificent. All right. So, so your cannon just, just blasted away. Mm -hmm. So that was significant. Um, that training paid off. You did. Apparently. Uh, oh, yeah. You don't think, but it will. Oh, the, I'll hold this. The ocean you you is pull. Hard. <laughs> but it's water. No! You dare board us. All right. Huh. So they get to you and <laughs> planks go down. Um. Hmm. So there are so there are more GIF than what you see. Nice. The ones you don't see are basically basically going to be interacting and fighting with your crew hmm. as they as they run down. Uh, we'll leave Bunny out there. Um, and Clint. So as 
as they are charging, your crew is running to meet them, and they are occupying themselves. Mm. What you see here are the ones that are going to be focused on you guys. <laughs> Still a lot of them. Yeah. So, yeah. so it is It is a fair game. I, um, I specifically wanted to make a note of trying to see Mr. Kipling during this battle. <laughs> 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 see what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Just through through the fray. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. The rivalry yeah. between the two tall halflings. Yeah. Tune in. It's like Yoda. So, <laughs> oh, hi, hi. <laughs> Slash yeah. Let's see in what he's made that of. we don't discuss. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so Uzo is going to, uh, and at this point, uh, the the sails are uh, fully engulfed up there. Excellent. Um, and you kind of notice that there are. Here, so it's not in the anti magic field, <laughs> or it is in the anti magic field. So, Uzo will fire off two Eldritch Blasts at the hooded guy. Oh, those are both gonna hit nice oh. 11 and 17. I should be, f- I don't know why I'm rolling for Uzo. Yeah, I mean, we let it happen again, so I gotta okay. stop. Yeah, but the first, PCs. but the first I thought time they, it screwed us. I thought the both, yeah, it, it hit both times this time. For 22 oh, right. points of damage. Damn. So nice. Yeah. That's pretty significant. He is not looking good. I love gambling, even All though right. I don't know how to play poker. All right. Can I see into their lower decks at this point with the holes that are being blasted? Uh, you, uh, I mean, so from here, looking straight across, you see the broadside of it, and you see there are four cannon port, and they are loaded. Can I see um, through the cannon port into the ship itself? Um, so they've they've pulled the cannon back in to load mm-hmm. them. It's dark in there. Um, mm-hmm. But I have dark I mean, vision. Yeah, I mean. And and we're less than sixty feet away. Sure. I mean, you can see in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna cast fireball through through one of those uh, cannon ports. Okay. As far in as I possibly can. <laughs> Are you going for the? The cannons. And the gunpowder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No mercy means no mercy. <laughs> awesome. Do not fuck with a light cleric. <laughs> All right. It's about to get dark. Um, it is about to get dark. <laughs> or very, very bright. For a moment. In case maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, so roll some damage. Um, I'm going to roll some deck saves. That's amazing. <laughs> I've been thinking about this. You know what? Oh my god. I need all of these D20s. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, there's a lot of people down there. Who's who? <laughs> That's wonderful. Who's who? I'll just... Damn. Damn, these are good dice. Three people failed. Okay. That's it? Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Oh. They, they, all, they all got over 16? Dang. Yeah. But I'm also aiming like at the cannon and and, and the and the gunpowder. Can, can I use those? <laughs> <laughs> not not the ones that fail. Uh, <laughs> minus three out of eleven. All right, so eight. Can I see that sheet again? Ten. Bed? About the uh, you put it away under you. Ah, thank you. So uh, Twenty-seven on everyone who failed, so that would be thirteen on everyone who succeeded. All right. Um. And then whatever repercussions for. Gunpowder going off. Dropped it. Uh, yeah, because it'd be out and in charges and in people's hands and explosions and... It's a lot of chaos. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of chaos. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. All their guns fire. <laughs> uh, so uh, these these particular seafarers are all about gun gunpowder. They love gunpowder. Huh. They are fiends. Well, they're not fiends actually, but they are <laughs> spacefaring hippo people who love their gunpowder. And a lovely people. You have just exploded their to be. store of gunpowder in their ship, um, which is going to explode their ship entirely. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So it <laughs> and in doing so, <laughs> we're gonna take some damage. <laughs> you are going to take some very massive damage on your ship as well because you are ten feet away from it. Oh my god! 
Jump and shield? <laughs> um, Have I learned nothing? So, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, 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 their their entire it. stores are going up. So. Wow. <sighs> okay. Uh, what would I, so if a, if a cannon does, if one cannon does 3d10, I'll just use d20s instead. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I knew they were going to be for damage but tonight. It's also, but it's that also not sense. directed um, fire. But it's like saying a so, nuke is not directed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no so, but it's not like a half nuke. So this thing. Nuke. So this thing. So what you did is this because you just blew a fireball right in the middle as everything is open because they are charging fire. This whole ship is exploding, and it is sending. Badass. No. <laughs> Commit. <laughs> It is sending debris <laughs> and everything I else. Um, I need everybody to make deck saves to see Stop if you fall in. Blowing into holes the in my ship. <laughs> I wasn't aiming to blow holes in our ship. I just got back alive. Um, how? What is your hull? Oh God, I want to say eight hundred, but it's not. It's three hundred. Who? Okay. It should be eight though. I'll, I'll double check it later. <laughs> What are we rolling? Deck saving throws. Okay. Yeah, because that's not right. something you're good at. Right. <laughs> Six. Uh, <laughs> I know. We can re-roll that, friend. I'm a clunky man with sl- comfy simple we slippers. We can re-roll that. I second that. What'd you get? Six total. Okay. Anything plus nothing. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. I bet this is loaded for a good roll. Lyra! <laughs> that's a middle finger. She, uh, told that's me what re- you get for calling on her in vain. She told me to read between the middle lines, and it's a one between two Shit. other fingers, which Jackson. is the an opportunity against her made with uh, advantage. <laughs> All right, so, so this entire ship explodes. Cool. And takes out a very significant part of your ship as well, um, doing 200 points of damage to the hull. You are taking on water uh, very quickly. Uh, this end. Uh, Should we separate? Give me a d20 now. I got a dirty 20 on my on my dexterity saving throw. I got okay. a 24. Perfect. So you guys are on the ship. You are what? Oh, good. Unless you want to be on the ship. <laughs> you are off the ship. Uh, six. Six. Your ship is on fire as well. Great. Oh, um, Ruckus is into the water. Son of a bitch! Oh, oh, actually. That's an amazing cinematic moment. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like the stuntman from Mad Max, the old one. <laughs> Hold on one second. Yeah, Sorry. I like cast fireball and ducked. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the water. Oh shit. Um. You take 25 points of damage. Fair enough. Everyone else takes 12. Um, Uzo, do you want to roll for Uzo? Or should I? Captain. Aaron, you should roll for Uzo. <laughs> so he can blame you. I will use the terrible dice as Uzo Warren would tell me. It was a four. <laughs> well. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's what he would done. Commit. Come here. Uh, he takes 25 points of damage and is overboard as well, but he's you. The two people who could go overboard. I mean, the two people who have the armor on, yeah. Um, so yeah. your ship is on fire. Uh, it is uh, taking on water underneath, so eventually it'll put the fire out, which is good. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, sink us, which is less good. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I drop an animal before I get <laughs> flung from the ship? No. No, no it just, it, you, were, you were getting ready to be like, oh, s- sometime in the next little bit I'll throw a thing, and then the ship across from you Explode like this tiny little <laughs> little spark thing went in, and then there's a and like ah just screams of pain and horror, and then the explosion <laughs> of their all of their stores just rips this whole thing apart, and there's uh, there are uh, hippo parts everywhere. <laughs> I just I just want to say like Andraste peeks out and goes. 
This, oh. I mean, this whole <laughs> thing like was like way Not, back. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh that's God. why they fell off because they were right mm -hmm. on this edge. And I like caught the edge of the yeah. stair. I was about to say, yeah. and <laughs> you guys are in the water. Um, you hear screams from from down below, a lot of screams. My last words before seeing that number. It's probably nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Throw. Um, <laughs> And that's where we're gonna end tonight. Yes. <laughs> are you serious? Perfect. Are you kidding me? It is gone. Yeah. We blew that ship up. Yeah, it we still totally... have people on our ship. Can we separate it? <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, I yeah. love it. This thing. Yeah. I this mean, is where we end. So like, hold okay. that. Hold that end. Whole top portion. Oh damn! Yeah. Blew off. <laughs> hungry, hungry. There's fire. Just fire dead, dead everywhere. All over in there. He's too vertical. I like had this whole thing planned. I was gonna be like, let's find the captain and take him out, and I'd do like dread pirate Remy stuff. <laughs> 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 Two crew members. <laughs> or you know. That was great. Kill him with kidding? fire. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we just panicked. <laughs> Kill him with fire. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so uh so these the people on your ship are less concerned now about Fighting you guys? Yeah. I can't imagine why. Um, we got captains. about finding a spaceship out of here. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to leave it there. The ship's on fire. It's sinking. There's massive hole damage to it. Um, Andraste? <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. I don't think Hippo was very good. <laughs> No, you cooked the ships. <laughs> well done. And everyone in them. <laughs> yes. I didn't know they had that much gunpowder. <laughs> I didn't know. That was amazing. So, um, <laughs> so the amazing thing about the GIF that we were about to get into and see uh, is they are, nope. they, are, they, are, <laughs> they are so adept at um, Not explode. musket and pistol fire that they can actually, the, the reloading doesn't matter to them. So they fire twice around. Wow. Um, huh. And just... Are they're badass military fighters when you don't blow up their ship? They used to be. Yeah, <laughs> they were badass yeah. military it's fighters. It's off the light cleric. Do not come so, for her home. There's a problem that she has. So you would think that, I mean, so piracy would not exist in a magical world, you would think, unless the pirates have their own mages. Yeah. But then there's probably a code not to blow up a ship. <laughs> It doesn't sell as well when you <laughs> blow the fuck out of it. Uh, I will. I will say that Uzlium does not have a navy, so uh, there's there's a reason for that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I would say not be, ever being a DM. It's common human decency to not blow up a ship of people on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, heroes will do what the, <laughs> the situation demands. <laughs> they, you know, here's what? the thing: we just pulled four people out of the water who were on a ship that was faster, stronger, and better than ours in practically every way. You do not hold back when you are dealing with a ship that took out another ship when you know how much more capable the other ship was than you, know, you are. I am not arguing this point <laughs> no, at I'm all. I'm not arguing yeah. with you, I'm no. arguing with him. Oh no, no, I agree. I, I just think like... this was such a brilliant move. Yeah. It really was. Um, I just like seeing it. <laughs> you know, at, so you know, if you're fighting a, a big bad wizard, at what point do you bring out the power word kill, right? And it's, well, as soon as you think that they're below 60 hit points, that's yeah. when you bring yeah. them out. Yeah. Well, and, 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 and that's why I've, uh, with, with uh, fiends and stuff like that, I lead with banishment. Yeah. Because it's like, if, if, if it'll land, get it out as fast as it can. Goodness gracious. And that, well, that works perfect because it's 10 o'clock. Yes, it is. <laughs> After last night's... What a uh, session. That was magical. Last night was so great. Last night was amazing. That Hold on, that, that big old speech about, yeah, let's send them to meet their makers <laughs> and let's go. The gods are testing us. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like fate <laughs> is testing <laughs> us. <laughs> so, it's, it's, more like, it's more like Andraste is testing your patience, specifically yours. <laughs> yeah. So this is, I mean, this is great for me because there's a bigger, better ship that you're not going to get. Yeah. <laughs> you've got <laughs> big it. problems. I mean, yeah. you've got problems men can't fix. So yeah. 
Mm. That's get people down there and board it up as fast as you can. Bosun, uh, once he gets life rafted back in, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 Uzo you can, can walk up. The no, <laughs> no life rafted. Just life put your feet on it. <laughs> it's an issue of comfortability. I will punch you. <laughs> And, and, and we'll have uh, Uzo use the decanter of water to put out, uh, put out our fires. Give me a here. perception check. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, net 20. <laughs> On the slow-mo way being thrown out. Uh, perception, oh, Do not 14. say there's sharks waiting for us. I swear, <laughs> I to, God. swear to God. I swear to God. 14? There's sharks. 14. Uh, there's movement in the water. Son of, Son of a bitch. Yes! Okay. Uh, Flambler's glows, and I throw uh, that hey. in the distance <laughs> as an idea. Uzo, as long as Uzo doesn't call out... I'm helpless. Please help me. <laughs> you, sh- you sure? I mean, it, can I throw an animal into the water as bait? Here's, here's the thing, though. Uzo should be wearing his his cloak of the ma- of the mountebank. If if he can grab both of you, it can get you both out of there. Mm. Hopefully, hopefully. Is going on the ship going to be helpful? And or is the whole better ship than being place to go. better than being in the in the place with the sharks? Yeah, I have trauma with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. So, uh, wow. yeah, I mean. Well, Spiffto, I hope it was worth staying up for. <laughs> yeah, Please fantastic. don't wake your wife on the way to bed. <laughs> was that anticlimactic or extra climactic? Oh, I think it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's kind of right in yeah. that, that middle where it's like, we were about to do, and then. <laughs> it's like the moment the. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, Everybody's like, Whoa. It's the move. Oh, I mean, although, I mean, every round, all those cannons were going to be going off, and yeah. if you roll under five, like, that's massive damage. You know, yeah. you do. A lot of that, so. Yeah. The fact that none of that happened. All of well, that damage on their ship? That was almost an Oh well, Yeah, yeah, I mean that, I mean that, having already done a lot of damage to them, helped in that next portion of. Yes, mm-hmm. because I could see. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, okay, please don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. that's gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't bell. know how much there was. <laughs> <laughs> Might not have done that if I'd known how much there was. Yeah, there's ten cannons per each side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and everything for the muskets. <laughs> yeah, again, love, not complaining. I love your call! So, you're gonna complain next week. I, I, I can almost see it. Uh, mm, I don't know. I mean, it, we, Remy, I, Remy's a fan of the hard call. You know what I mean? He gets it. Yeah, you yeah. better do that. You have it. different problems now, but we, we, you don't have cannon problems. As, as, I'm, as I'm sure Sebastian would say, um, yeah, oh, yeah. If you, if you, you use fireball to solve all your problems. You have new problems to solve now, but you've solved all of <laughs> your old <laughs> problems. I don't think Sebastian would ever say use fireball to solve all your problems. I literally saw you explode a guy <laughs> the minute I was in game with you. <laughs> there were bits that they were picking up off the wall <laughs> of this half lake. <laughs> Remember uh, that? Like, I've, how could you forget? It? So, so my favorite part of that hall is, is that Aubrey said, oh, "You know, it's a warning shot, just so, you know, over your shoulder." Yeah, with a knife that she threw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and and we, I think we cut, and then we came back the next game, and and I was, you know, and you know, in my head, and like, uh, Eo didn't say that. So my first lines were, "Oh, so we're we're doing this." Right. <laughs> Let's put him to sleep peacefully. Well, <laughs> well. Later on, we go to the law, right? We're talking to him. And my character is just like, yes, I have a question. If you killed a man, you know, exploded him <laughs> in cold blood, what would be the punishment for that? <laughs> Nothing. He said it's all right, you're fine. <laughs> in front of them. It was great. God damn it, Gale. <laughs> it was great. That's awesome. I love Gale Stormborn. Do so you have one? I'm glad. We have one. We have five to put into the boy. All right, five <laughs> to put into the boy. And any that you didn't use. Good old Solari day. Oh, that's two. Man, I keep forgetting. Just, yeah, just set them up. I keep forgetting. Into Noi. the boy. Noise. To the boy. Oops. Boy. What an episode. Sorry. What naming. <laughs> Yeah. That wasn't, you know, months of printing that ship and that's all right. Hey, that looks surprisingly like the Chimera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. We can just paint that's the tri- we, we just paint the tree a different color and it'll be the Chimera. <laughs> another another twenty gun ship. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, this one's greenish blue. <laughs> wow. Uh I don't know. D and D's fun. It's amazing. Hey! Alright. So, get this. We were just raided by Dat Network. 
Hey. Which that network? Is, uh, Dat, Dat Network. D-A-T, Dat Network. <laughs> Dat uh, Network. <laughs> so, uh, very cool guys over there uh, running Pathfinder and some very cool stuff. So, welcome oh, to the chaos. Hi, guys. Uh, we just had ship-to-ship explosions. Uh, there wasn't a lot of combat. People uh, learned to not fuck with the light cleric with fireball at her command. Uh, <laughs> so, let me let me do a thing. Let me do a thing. Because uh, when we get raided, and especially people like uh, Dat Network, or the, I know this, I know, I know Jared. Um, and they got so, all that Dat Network. Um, yeah, all Dat Network? Because it used all to be Dat, Dat Dragon Show, but I think they're expanding, so now it's Dat Network. Oh, oh. I, like that. Yeah. I like that. So very cool. Thank you for the raid. And I'm going to reset my giveaway stuff right here, and we're going to do a what? giveaway. So if you type Everything in giveaway. hashtag chaos into the chats, um, you will be entered to win a Nord Games luck deck. Uh, one of these cool little guys, or the critical hit deck, if you so choose. Um, we stopped playing because uh, the ship exploded. <laughs> uh, and then their ship started, went on fire. It's taking water. I mean, like, who knew mountains of gunpowder were so flammable? <laughs> who knew there were mountains of gunpowder in there? Let's start with that question. <laughs> Ten tannins per each side. I'm just going to say that. Ruckus's intelligence, this one time. <laughs> you know what? Andraste has a plus zero to her intelligence. She didn't think of that. And if you're just joining us, that surprises the hell out of me. <laughs> it surprises the hell out of all of us. I'm very wise. Just not book smart. I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I think it was a good call. I think yeah. you know, yeah, you you have an opportunity to blow them up. Um, it, yeah, yeah. I think it was a good call. I still think it was the best call, honestly. But you know, we'll find out next week. I completely, I agree. I concur. Yeah. Well, I mean, as you did say, we had all that cannon fire already yeah. coming on us. Yeah. Uh, so it was three d ten per mean, cannon. Yeah. That's so right. so one thing you one thing you uh, your your. Uh, Sails. Mm-hmm. And the things that hold the sails. Masts. Masts. Glue. Glue. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Are you the bosun? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boats, man. <laughs> uh, uh, your masts and your sails are surprisingly intact uh, because it was one, one, one round of fire in yeah. the hole, mostly. Um, so, yeah. So, if you can fix the water and the fire problem. Uh, we'll just fix it. It's the problem for the <laughs> avatar. <laughs> No one? Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to roll this. I'm going to roll this right away here. Roll that. Hey, Chaos. Last chance for that. Network. That work. That Game deck. Master's tools. Oh, that network. That fat deck. Uh, oh. Where is it? Here it is. Here we go. And you almost made it. me spit my drink. <laughs> Just yell spit so, take. So, <laughs> Fear Rash. Wait, what? Ooh. Maybe it's Fury Rash. Maybe it's Fury Rash. Fury Rash. Fur Rash. Fur Rash. You Congratulations are. on winning a Nord Games luck that deck. That is not a name I've heard before. Hello. Hit deck. Welcome to, welcome Raiders. Um, so, just tell them what this hit deck we is. Should, this, mm. Yeah. This yeah. Luck so deck the, is. There are blue cards and there are red cards. So when the players roll a 20, they get one of those. And it's things like turn a successful hit against you into a miss or a critical hit into a normal hit. Could we, could we have done that for the damage to the ship? No, it was sort of crit. critical. Oh, you guys critted. <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't then, crit. I didn't roll. And then uh, when they roll a one, the GM gets one. So, for instance, this one is until the end of your turn, attacks of opportunity against you are made with advantage. Yeah. I was holding a seven to the camera. Eh, and now it's a one. It's like a one. Okay. <laughs> They they really I have nothing, to, I have nothing to add. And they, they they add a nice little element to yeah. it as well. So it's they're they're fun. Fun I've, stuff. I've always we, said we, Nord we, Games we, is just legitimately game changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean mm -hmm. we have legit have had uh, the, the game just completely turned upside down by it. Mm -hmm. Even after we took out the Fortuita Circumstance cards. Yeah. Yeah. So all right, so we're gonna wrap it up there. Thank you for the raid, even though it was for a little bit. We appreciate it. Um if we ever end before you guys We'll go your way, but that's a hard uh, thing to do. Yeah. Because we start at seven and usually go usually go to eleven. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Sorry, not sorry. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's my line on this one. <laughs> sorry, not really, but sorry. So, looking forward to uh, seeing you guys again, and thank you and good night.